Watching and Charlotte. I never thought she'd see you two together. Yeah, why is Charlotte here already? Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Hi, Kaching. Oh, we're What's not it? interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Well, yes. And... <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Rite is kites. Oh. Ah! Liyue Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. I cook with that. I cook with that. Yeah, remember my business meeting with Tian Chuan Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue Harbor? That's what it was about! No. <laughs> what? But all I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. Yeah, I'm sorry, Charlotte. I don't remember that. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. It was a TCG event? Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? True. Plus... The easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. Not a bad idea. Right? I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase from a stall in the harbor. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just as much as Paimon! Uh, toys? They're not exactly toys. Hey, Paimon, that's culturally insensitive. Come on now. You see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time-honored cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. Wow. But to me... There's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. I would love to fly a kite one day. Actually, would I? I mean, it would be nice to fly one one day, because I've never flown a kite before. There's an old poem that goes... O oh, kite, born of paper, flying true and sound. A lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. What? It didn't finish! In the past, poets from Liyue used kites think. to symbolize the feeling of longing. Or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. That's the Kuching we know, always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> as long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. Uh. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. So yoink mine my kite now. <laughs> what about something more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun. Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that back when he was a boy, 
Children learn the art of kite making step by step from their elders. Mm, it's a past a passed down tradition. It's really cool to feel the wind taking the kite away through the string. I bet so. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo I would to assume construct so. the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. Freedom! Fascinating. What else can you tell me? Truly American. The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. They could be a useful reference. Who are these? That would be a huge help! Great! Looks like I've got the outline for quite the uh, article on my hands. Hope it all goes well. Perfect! We're gonna take a look around! Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Ah, I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret Ooh. prize. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. We got it. Uh, maybe tone it down a bit, Traveler. What if we don't win? Not possible. It's better to keep a low profile until the competition starts. Then we'll give them a show they never saw. Yeah. Coming. Ooh, that secret prize. Yeah, is that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. You bet! See you then! Just swap to Animal Traveler to cheat. <laughs> Wait, Traveler? Take a peek to your right. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Yeah, uh, who? Is it just Paimon? Oh. Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm, they seem fishy. Hmm, the Qixing do attract a lot of attention. Huh. Well, yes, but something's up. Paimon just has a bad feeling. Oh boy. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Rite. But what would treasure hoarders be doing around inside of Liyue Harbor? Oh, Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. What the? Their plans before they even begin. Wait, she just started teleporting. Whoa! I've never seen that before. The hell? Where would she get that from? You go right. Paimon will go left. What? Wait, Paimon. She just started teleporting out of nowhere. Why doesn't she? Do, why doesn't she do that in actual combat? He's got a red stripe in, the, in his hair. Bro, he's got the Markiplier stripe. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He's got the Markiplier red hair stripe. He actually has the Markiplier red hair. No way. <laughs> Wait, nah, nah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Y'all? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my god, they got Markiplier and Genshin. They actually got Markiplier and Genshin Impact. No way! What's up, dude? Oh my god, can you do the intro for me, Markiplier? <laughs> nah. 
I cannot believe they put him in the game. It is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. Oh, I know who this is. Whoa, I recognize that voice. Where did this come from? You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy. Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you were up to no good. Tell us everything, starting with your name. I know who this is. <sighs> one bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. Thanks, so they'll give up their Adeptus identity so quickly, huh? For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Hojong. All right. You kidding? That deer's got his head stuck so far up in the clouds, there's no way he'd humble himself down here with the rest of us. Uh, <clears throat> you may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. <laughs> believe you just because you know her name but paimon guess you're supposed to be mountain shaper right uh y y yeah m maybe <laughs> zach talking to zach indeed moon carver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit the two of you may call me jiavu huh looks like you did your research but in our experience the harder you try to lead us on the more likely it is that we've got a big fish in our hands. She's so stubborn. We'll go straight to the Mulilith and have you arrested for impersonating a deaf guy. Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. If you really are who you claim to be, perhaps you can prove it. Right. Tell us something that only an adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. I... <sighs> oh boy. During the last lantern rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's supreme cuisine machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. <laughs> he said, I'm a chef now. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Uh, uh. <laughs> caught. Caught. Did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? <laughs> Hello, Jazzy Fire. One is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. They might think one bears no difference from Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Forget it. One does not have the breath to waste on such petty trifles. I suppose they really are the Adepti. Ah, uh, that might have been more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and Paimon, sorry for suspecting you. Uh. But, uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge. Right? No, strike her down. <clears throat> strike her down with lightning. Uh, take it as a compliment to the quality of your disguise. They look like regular NPCs. They actually look like regular NPCs, except just like, like you know, the streaks in their hair, though. And and better clothing. Very interesting that they only gave, uh, mo that they gave Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper these designs. Uh... You indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. Paimon's still curious about something. It's just, Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but why did you decide to come to the city, Moon Carver? It's not really your thing, is it? Maybe he likes kites. Hmm. <sighs> it, it is but an inevitable, inevitable eventuality. eventuality. What? Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move to Liyue Harbor. With Lantern Rite near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. <laughs> oh, wait, that's a right. She hasn't even... <laughs> oh, yeah. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid. Cloud retainers, in this case. 
But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now, it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. He said, I'm going home. I'm done with this. Huh. I'm so running out of energy. You're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. Uh-oh. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. Pan the camera to the right, watch her be right behind him. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Sure, leave it to us! Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern right? Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. Bye. <laughs> I guess I'm going back home. <sighs> we got all worked up for nothing, huh? All that trouble and it turned out to be people we knew all along. Yeah, you probably didn't want to pick a fight with those dudes anyways. Uh, well, we would have gotten destroyed. Let's head over and check out the kite stalls. Paimon kind of wants to see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. The bigger and prettier, the better. She said, fuck y'all, I'm going to do my own thing. She really said, she really said, nah, I'm out. Welcome. Are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Would you like me to go over the different designs? Ooh, a sitting cow swallow and a butterfly and oh. oh my god, do you even have that much money, Paimon? Relax. Uh, Chill. This jade chamber design is our newest. It's been selling like crazy over the past two days. Does it also have a unique meaning? Of course. The jade chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Oh, oh now that's Paimon's kind of kite. You're already, yeah, the only riches you're going to be getting is from me, all right? I apologize for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Oh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, and dyes. All the necessary kite-making materials. Wonderful. I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Yilong Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Rite. Paimon would love to go take a look. Well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these Gaming. goods together? Gaming. Is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? Or Xiaming? Well, yes. Xiaming. The communications office handles shipments and transports around Liyue. He Jamming. works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub-organizations. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families. So, our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. Well, we expect to be compensated. Of course, of course. Hard work deserves ample rewards. Now, at this time of day, Gaming should be somewhere in the vicinity. But just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Should be on your right. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. Can I buy a kite from her right now? By the way, do you know my aunt? No. Everyone calls her Granny Shan. I've heard her mention Gaming before. Apparently, he's a nice, outgoing fellow and all around good guy. Shan. Gaming. Did I get Gaming? No, I didn't. That's also another thing I missed out on from. Ah, uh, I missed out on Gaming. Not even. So now I don't even know if I'm even gonna get him. God damn it. Cause like. Wait, I thought we had an agreement. A loser buys dim sum tomorrow. <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer, and your face might stay that way. You can still get a C zero. Oh, you get a free one? Oh, oh yeah, that's right, the selector. I forgot about that. Hey, now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation, and I'll pay. This is Kalos' voice actor, isn't it? Uh, no way, Gaming. You're always the one picking up the tab. It's so familiar. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to come from behind a win like that. 
<laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Perfect. Gaming is here. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Wharf. Oh, that must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. Gotta go. Sure, go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. <laughs> Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. It wasn't that bad. It's just some kite-making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you did. You, you kite-making materials. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Every time you blink, there's a new Genshin character. <laughs> Is this the first Star Wars voice actor to bleed to Genshin? I think so. I think so. I don't know any other Star Wars voice actor that has gone into a Genshin character. I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Huh? You know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Oh, and please excuse Longzhou if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately, running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? No worries. So, you here for Lantern, right? Yes, yeah. It's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elon Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. We'll go together then. <laughs> I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. The ingredients are He's fresh, so energetic. the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise, you won't be disappointed. I feel like he'd be really good friends with Xiang, with Xiangling. Order anything? My mom seems to be drooling already. Uh. Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? Yes. <laughs> it's necessary. <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Nope, our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Yup. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. Oh, Blade and Lenny? I forgot that Blade uh, and Lenny are the same as well. Oh, yeah, and Asta and Mona. Asta and Mona are the most obvious because they're quite literally the same voice. <laughs> quite literally. Oh yeah, and Acheron is the uh, is Beto apparently. I did find out find that out recently. What <laughs> Um. So this is. Oh my god! Oh my god! I completely forgot about this new area. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh god. Um. All right. Well, as you can see, as you can see, I haven't really been playing Genshin all that much. In the past. Like two, three weeks? I haven't really been playing Genshin all that much. And I haven't really done anything. So. I have not seen the new region, like, at all. Is it. Oh, there's a TP in here? Oh, yeah, there is. What the? This is so... Yeah, that was pretty but laggy. What the? Who are you? Where am I? <laughs> Wait, where am I? Where the hell am I? <laughs> Who is this? I'm stuck now? What? 
I did I just get I got world quest kidnapped? Oh nah. Oh nah. Oh god. I accidentally triggered a world quest. Classic. Alright, well. I, I guess I'll read through this because this is a I guess this is important. Ujin, the local adeptus. You're still doing the delivery just now. How do we end up? Well, the paper is used to make ki- um, uh, I see. So the paper is used to make kites. Yes. I feel festive fortunate fortune emanating from you. I hope that this sudden invitation will not ruin the fun. Happy Lantern Riot. That said, Paimon's not sure this counts as an invitation. Huh. Were we the only ones brought here? Apologies for wor yes, apologies for worrying you much. Nah, worrying your friend, but the only the two of you have surpassing com I cannot speak. Oh my god. But only the two of you have surpassing compatibility with the local spirit veins, which is why I could only invite you in. Uh, you know us? It changed the dialogue? The dialogue is different if you did this before the lantern, right? Really? Huh. Your names were carried here by the fish that swim, and I have long, I've thus long anticipated your visit. It, it is a pity that it is now not quite convenient, else I would have invited you to a tea-tasting banquet. Speaking of which, I'm quite sorry, but I have a request to make of you, okay? Uh, uh, you make it quick, I got a delivery to make. Yeah, so Adeptus Fujin, can we trouble you to be quick? Thank you. I presume the two of you have heard of the tea village of Chen Yu Vale. Uh, Chiao... Chiao Ying? I think that's how you say it. Uh, village. This land has been famous for its cool, fragrant waters since ancient times. The people are of gentle character and the pristine pebbles in its streams are exquisite. I hear a butt incoming. Precisely. The waters and soil of Chen Yu Vale have begun to change recently, as has the scent of its tea. Chaoying Village ha will inevitably, inevitably decline should this persist. One hopes that you two can resolve the disharmony of the soil and water on one's behalf. The water veins are spread across the mountains, but my power is no longer sufficient. Nor is the present is the present uh, a good time for me to move about. Thus, I must rely on your kindness and aid. Uh, oh, this is sudden. Yeah, we aren't exactly experts when it comes to this stuff. Is there some problem that the Traveler can just solve with lots of violence? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I heard, you are quite direct. But fret not, you are clever by nature and should perceive clearly the difficulties you encounter. You can ever, pro you can even perform your delivery first. That is no issue. All right. Well, I get it. Well then, allow me to share some of the adeptal energy dwelling in the mortal world with you. I'm all, I'm about to say like trailblazer instead of traveler. <clears throat> Uh, traveler, to aid you in the to aid you in traversing the landscape and piercing the fog. All oh, right. Um, it's nice to meet you. Eh. <clears throat> I mean, welcome to this place. Uh, I mean, welcome to Chen Yu Vale. Also, happy lantern right to you. Yep. Happy lantern right. What do you mean welcome? This was clearly a kidnapping. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I was quite looking forward to meeting you face to face and was rather hoping you two would be magnanimous enough to forgive the improper these big ass words. I my vocabulary is shit. Uh impro impropriety. Uh yes. Now that you have been indwelled with my adeptal energy, traveler, things will become much more convenient. Now please try the wonders of said energy for yourself. A glimpse wondrous pros of a water scattered in the wilds of Chinyu Vale uh, that have absorbed Aaron adeptal energy and now flow. Use the adeptal energy granted by Fujin to briefly transform into a golden carp fish and then enter them. Once you're inside the pros of water, you can go anywhere you please and you can hold the jump button to leave vertically. This way, you can cross over the mountains and forest with ease, just like the golden carp fish in Legends of Yore. I was not sure if this is an appropriate thing to say, but your aura seems a bit different from that of other adept that we've met somehow. Our friends have said similar things before, but surely it's only natural that each individual pe each individual per <coughs> I mean, adeptus has an aura of their own. 
aura. Your friends, huh? Oh, they must also be formidable adepti, like Mooncarver or Mountain Shaper. Yes, that's exactly how it is. <laughs> sure, mm. It's just that those two friends are probably busy taking care of their own affairs right now. That is why one must leave this business of nursing the water and soil to the two of you instead. Someone's, someone's not right with that. I'm not sure exactly what it is you meant, what we're meant to do, but uh, we'll go take a look anyway. Okay. If you see a golden, if I see a golden, oh, you're back. Oh. Jeez, guys, where'd you go? One moment you were there, the next you disappeared. You scared the life out of me. Huh. Hi! We're so sorry! We were just... Uh... Ugh, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> well, the mountain road is pretty hazardous, and it's easy to get lost in the fog. So from here on out, stay close to me. Hmm. Got it! Let's keep going! So what, did I just get, like, special dialogue because I was doing the lantern right before I got to the new area? That's cool. Never seen that before? That's cool. Huh. Wow. Look at the scenery. The docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. Nice Easter eggs? Yeah. Me when I accidentally discover an Easter egg without any intention at all. <gasps> Coming. Uh -oh. Wait. Get behind me. I'll handle this. I actually did do Gaming's trial. Gaming seems cool. Let's spark things up a little. Come a little closer. <laughs> What's it done? Boom. Congratulations. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I don't want. Wait, hold on. I want to do this first. Many happy returns. Oh, there's more. That's added if you're kidnapped by Fujin during the Lantern Riot, but it, before you ever set foot in Chinyu Vale. I like how far he leaps with his E. He leaps so far. How far can you go with this, actually? Oh, you could go so far. What the heck? Well, he goes super far with his E. Seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. I'm always impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. What? Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? Uh, oh, wushou dancing. Uh, I heard about it somewhere. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chenyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch wushou dancing. So it's not something I do full time. Mm. Uh, you have two jobs? Yeah. How do you have the energy to do all that? So real. <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Probably one of the realest lines Paimon has ever said. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. Just yesterday, I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. He said, sleep, not for me. He's so real for that. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's just the Hurl Troll digging. <laughs> Yellow. 
Gaming walks forward and exchanges a few words with the, with the boatman near the docks. The next thing you know, he's called for everyone to board a bamboo raft. Okay. Bamboo raft. Finally, we can rest. Ooh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. And her stomach so empty. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Yeah. Leo is just too hilly. Floating up and down so much. Where's Paimon now? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied and now her poor stomach's empty again. I, I, I like oh. how... Would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought Ooh. from a store. Yes, Paimon will take all you got. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there. Or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. I like how every single update we get like slightly more information. People, just like oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. We get slightly more information about how Paimon's float works. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, traveler. Enjoy. Mmm, yummy. And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. Gaming seems like a real people person. He can get along with anyone, and he treats every person he meets like a close friend. Oh, that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Yeah. <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't <laughs> be offended. He said, I know I yap too much. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Paimon <laughs> is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter-chatter. Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> hey, Paimon can be in a good mood anytime she wants. Hmm. Yeah. Slowly lose yourself in the beauty of the surrounding scenery. Before you know it, you are greeted by the sight of Young Wharf. Woohoo! We're here! Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. His family name is Yip and his family name is Yip should have been Yap. Yip Yap. Yapatron. Wow. I wish I had gumming in my party. Uh, I would love to have gumming in my party right about now. Soon. Soon he will be mine. Soon. Did you get another dark iron sword in this in this area if you find one of the hidden world quests? I did hear about that. Which is interesting. Is this an answer from this world? Definitely want to try going, going and getting it eventually. Hey, I slow down. I'm begging you. Uh, now he's Where being is left he? behind. No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? How many times I make the trip? So is this an answer from this world? Oh well. Uh, how should I put it? Come on, spit it out! Do you see that group of people over there? Mm hmm. Yeah? Those are my relatives. What? All of them? Wow, you sure have a big family. All of them? And a big ass family! Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. 
Oh, this is bad. <laughs> They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless... Oh, did you do something horrible to them? Uh-oh. No, it's not that. I'm just... not that good at dealing with my family. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but... Right now, we've got a job to do. Hmm. Don't want you have to sneak past them. Mm, the left side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Average Asian family. Slow and steady wins the race. Certainly nothing suspicious here. You can purposely fail this sneak part for special dialogue? I'm failing, it, I'm failing 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 it. I wanna see what it is. It's Gaming! With the cry of Gaming's name, his relatives begin to surround you from all directions. Gaming! When did you get here? Oh, you've lost even more weight. How long are you planning uh on staying this time? <laughs> Damn. How's work been? It sounds tough. You should visit home more often. The last time I spoke with your dad, he couldn't stop talking about you. He seems worried. Causing trouble again, are you? Bruh. Uh, <laughs> well... Uh, after much talking, finally extricate yourselves from the circle of Gaming's relatives. Man, I should fail these things more often. You said you, she said you lost more weight. What? <laughs> Who says that? Eh, that was terrifying. Even Paimon couldn't get a word in. Ah, uh, sorry. They mean well. It's just, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Let's get these things delivered first. It's okay. Whenever you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Hey, Uncle Drigwe. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. Hello. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the secure transport agency has some back. great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you. One sip and you'll be hooked. There's a dude staring at us on the back. What the heck? <laughs> anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgue. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Aw, you noticed what Paimon liked? Aw, so attentive. That's cute. How long have you two known Gaming? Oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yilong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. You know, just like that. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. Said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Through the rain? Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then Dang. traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but, well, ask anyone else. His dad don't like him? Man, that's always at least one family member. Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigwe? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Also, someone redeemed drink water earlier. I didn't even see it, but. There you go. I promise I'm not a scammer. <sighs> it feels like we've troubled you enough already. <clears throat> it's kite making materials, though. Could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ring. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. Sunglow tea. All right, then. Deliver it if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Xinyue Kiosk? My tree Ooh, and don't even think about dim sum. Dude, I love dim sum. Whoa, that's way too generous of you. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the 
thing between me and my family. It's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Sounds good! Paimon never says no to free food. See you at Jingwei Kiosk then. Alright, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, I mean, true. Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> she's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. Uh-huh, yeah. She's gonna be full by the time she gets there. Anyway, is Gobin's family situation really that complicated? He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Hmm, how should I put it? Hmm, I would assume his parents might not like him. Maybe for his career choices? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. A little does he know that we're like 500 years old. <laughs> I'll try. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in spades. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? Paimon was just joking, but... If you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, seems like gumming really has rubbed off on you. Is winter melon cake actually a thing? I actually want to see if it's a thing. Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. No thanks. We came all this way and still haven't gotten a chance to look around the wharf. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. That's not a bad idea. All right, then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. It is a thing? Let me see. Is this what they look like? Is this what they look like? Hmm. They look kind of yummy. They have like a filling inside of it too. Hmm. I'm getting hungry. I gotta stop this. Oh god. Oh god. I'm getting hungry again. Have I tried winter melon milk tea? No, I haven't. I don't think I have. Try jumping on the small wooden pillar there. Over this. Oh. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh, it disappears. Oh, um, huh. Wait, do I have to? <laughs> How do I do this? What? Oh, I know how to do this. Okay, I gotta, I gotta like walk. Oh no! Shit! <laughs> this is the real only up. Ooh. Gotta jump this one. What? What? Why disappear again? What? No way! It's also timed? Really? Wait, so I gotta like do it fast then. Okay. Oh, it disappears really fast. The hell? Okay, wait then. Bro. Bro, what the hell? How do you do this super fast? There's no way you could do that super fast. Yeah, there's no way. What the heck? Oh wait, got it. A reward on the road. Kind of cheated it, but <laughs> I got it. I got it.
Light work for me. Oh. What are you doing here? Why? <laughs> How is she here already? The way you speak, one might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Greeting, Cloud Retainer. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? <laughs> Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? And what's with that huge box next to you? Ah! Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? Mmm, not quite. And what of it? The Qixing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Mm. Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Mooncarver told us, or uh. Tia something and ho. Oh. Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. Uh-oh. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. <coughs> huh. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you for telling me, Paimon. Tianyun? Uh-oh. GG. Huh. Did she forget about them? Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? Wait, she actually forgot about them? What? <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. She actually forgot them. That's surprising. Huh? Wait, here? You're really just gonna ditch us here to watch your stuff? Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. Moving to the city changed her? <laughs> she really changed, huh? She really, she really switched up. She moved to the city and she forgot all her old friends. Really do me your closest. Really do be your own. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let me go see what she's up to. Hey, now you too, Traveler! Oh, all this time on ditching is super not appreciated. Ugh, just come back soon, okay? Paimon, Paimon doesn't want anyone to try and steal the stuff. Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now, that sounds promising. Mm. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. There's no way, there's no way Cloud Retainer is this oblivious, right? Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special Lantern Rite promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. Oh my god, 10% off for three boxes? Wow. 20% hmm. off four What a deal. Boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping too. Oh god. <laughs> then four shall suffice. This dude is gonna make so much money off her. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. Oh no. Oh god. Someone stop her. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. Oh no. Oh god. Hmm. Ten boxes. Seems rather excessive. But if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's disciples, hmm. Oh my god, she's actually gonna buy it. <laughs> She'd be so easy to scam. Ten, a nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. Bruh. That is agreeable. One will, um, I will have these boxed up then. Of course, of course, right away. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Oh, no. Perhaps some of my wares might also be of interest to you. Oh, God. Once you get scammed by one, every other one is going to want to scam you now. Oh, God. 
So what stop her? Merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys. Oh no. Can buy here. So what stop Each her? Sure to be a source of endless amusement. Uh... Hmm. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? Well, uh, that uh. <laughs> is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. <laughs> huh? Oh, she noticed. Did she notice me? There is no need for that. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. What? Ah, oh, of course. Here you go. What? The instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. Just rich people things. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this. A child's plaything, no less. It would only invite scandal. Oh my god, just rich people things, honestly. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. I should head back before Xian Yun notices. Oh, Xian Yun! Did your shopping go smoothly? Not even rich people think it's because she has so much pride in her own creations. Man, that pride is gonna make her go broke one day. <sighs> Naturally. One may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks in faculties. It seems that Xian Yun is easily swayed into buying things. The box look fi looks fit to burst already. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf. But it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition then? Also? <clears throat> One means to say, you along with all the other youths. One has been entreated to share one's kite-making expertise, and indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests, and thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Oh, wow. Oh, who will be participating then? Shu Yu, Shen He, Gan Yu, and Yayo. Oh, so all of her disciples. <laughs> wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xian Yun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. Oh, but will she do that? No. <laughs> huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> Tis nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. Oh, here we go. Alright, yap session incoming. Yeah, yeah, it's through her rambles. Okay, yeah. All of her disciples and yao yao. <laughs> it is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. Good idea. <laughs> it sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. So... Will you be attending the workshop or not? Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? Seems interesting. All right then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? Uh. Oh. 
<laughs> just light work for her. <laughs> uh, it can float? What kind of invention is that? Uh, One calls it the floating toting device. Floating toting device. What an invention. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders... Uh, never mind. She's like flexing, but at the same time, it's embarrassing for some reason. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. What a flex. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just... Uh... Got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. Oh, nice. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Ah, uh, what will I do about you, Paimon? All Paimon say is that Xianyun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? Paimon bets she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. Uh, that does sound like something she would do. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. Yeah, uh, until you slip up. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself. <laughs> when it comes to an elder, right? Uh Part one! Nice! That was an hour. That was only an hour. Ah, now we got everything here. Let's see. Oh yeah, here's the uh, here's the invite. We need Festive Fever 800 though to get it. Obviously I'll be getting Gaming. <gasps> Sing Show's outfit! I forgot about this! Dang! Look at Dapper! All dripped out! Dang! You even got a little ponytail on the back! Look at that! <laughs> His little ponytail! It's so cute! Nice outfit. You need a crown from this too. Hydro Archon at home. <laughs> yeah, time to go inside here. I'm pretty sh Okay. Pretty sure we got... Going here to eat, right? Continue a kiosk. You have to go into here to eat. I think. Is where we left oh, off. You're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down. Sit down. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Got me. Oh, thank you. Wait, uh, uh, what? You weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. Oh, what did she drink? Uh oh, is she gonna I was die? To rinse your utensils. Oh my. Ah. Uh, uh, that's a thing. Yes. She actually drank the, the water you're supposed to clean your forks and everything with, bruh. Nah. Can I roast you once? Sure, go ahead. Uh-huh. What you got, huh? As you talk, piping hot dim sum dishes arrive at the table one after another. And just when you think that all the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings over a general bowl of seafood kanji. Delicious food. The dim Do you sum. Really eat all this just for breakfast? I actually kind of want dim sum again. <laughs> that's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. Mm. What about you, traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. That'd be great. Paimon's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks. Dude, she, dude, Gaming talks at like a million miles an hour. I have, it is actually surprising to find someone that talks faster than Paimon does. It is crazy. 
Your forehead is so big, I could plate a whole ass five course meal on it. My forehead is kind of big, isn't it? My forehead is is is, is gigantic. Actually, I could still use my four fingers to cover it. It's not that big yet. I don't have a five head. At least I got that on my belt. Everyone picks up their chopsticks and begins to dig in. Each dish tastes exquisite and it is uniquely flavorful. You slowly start to relax as you enjoy a pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying. It even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. Yeah, where did that come from? Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Figured out what? Let's think about this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. Uh, that would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. Uh, <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Yeah, that sounds uh very similar. You know Xingqiu? You sure know a lot of people. Hmm... Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. Oh yeah, that's right. Aren't we about to like find out that his dad hates him or something? She was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Fei Yun Commerce Guild. My dad. He always wanted me to inherit the family business. Oh. To be a merchant like him. Oh, here we go. The whole family business thing. Oh, boy. But that's just not who I am. It's not who I ever wanted to be. Gaming always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've seen him. This topic must be very important to him. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. <laughs> Try doing that to a parent, they're not gonna listen. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushu dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. They gonna tell they gonna tell they just gonna sit there and tell you, you want to be that? Nah, that doesn't pay well. There's no there's no jobs in that field. What happens if you have to pay the bills and you all you gotta do is do that? How are you gonna how are you gonna live off of that? According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Yeah, and they and they could also just say that like you're not you're never gonna make it in that field. There's no chance you're gonna make it there. They'll come up with like a billion different excuses for whatever job you wanna actually work at. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wushu dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. Damn, throwing hands with your own dad? Oh my god. In the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No, I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big in Liyue Harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Mm. I mean, that kind of, it's, it's kind of like a similar story to all, what a lot of people go through, right? Coming. But, I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. I mean, like, anybody, anybody with aspirations, especially in, like, a creative field, probably have had a talk like this, or have had an experience like this. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> and you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So, yeah. I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. 
Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. He's paying for everything. Can we pay for him? Can we, can we pay for his food? Or at least going out with him for once? Actually, we kind of already have plans this afternoon. We told Tian Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh, that's right. Oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gaming? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Shen Yun. Really? Auntie Shen Yun. <laughs> that title certainly humanizes her a bit. Uh, oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during oh. a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with Wait. some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. Wait, really? How, how, wait, how did he find out? She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone works so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dice in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Worst kept secret? Yeah, I feel like everyone is just going to know that she's an adeptus at some point. She is terrible at keeping that a secret. Great! The more the merrier! She is terrible at keeping <laughs> at keeping a secret. According to his voice line profiles, uh, Xianyun, Xianyun gave him that glowy wushu dance device. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. Why does she? Why doesn't she just be like Moon Carver and uh? Why does she be like Moon Carver or Mountain Shaper and just say straight up that they're a death die? Yeah. Yeah. Wake up! Some friends have arrived. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, friends. <laughs> She's so sleepy again. <sighs> Can you? Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. Wait, what does that mean? <sighs> Yeah, she... yeah, she might need some of that. <laughs> yeah. Apologies in advance. Oh, she touched her horns. Not there. You see, Shano take out a small green bottle, extract some minty smelling liquid, and apply it to Ganyu's horns. What? Wait, does her Ganyu? Gani's horns can absorb stuff? What? Yaya and Paimon look on in shock, mouth agape, but cannot stop her in time. <coughs> Wait, her horns can absorb liquids? Wait, that's kind of cool. See? It worked. She's awake. Uh, are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or, or maybe something to eat? I... I'm fine. I just feel... Chili all over. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Was it that effective? Chili, huh? Mm, the master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So, does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Hmm. Uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. <laughs> I assume it's like putting ice down someone's back? I guess so. Hmm. <sighs> I... I feel a bit better now. Mm. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? 
That does seem to happen to you often. Uh, <clears throat> Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. <laughs> I, I could never. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... Gaming. <laughs> me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. Mm. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha. And this is Yao Yao. Yao Yao. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shen Yun's kite making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Wait, what if this ends up being like the hardest workshop ever? What if she's just like, what if she's like, like an extremely strict teacher because of her standards? Uh oh. Me too. I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend. Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Well, Chi Chi's been super Aww. busy helping Dr. Baiju lately. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. Wait, that's cute that Chi Chi and Yaya are best friends. Why is that? Why is that like cuter than I thought it would be? <laughs> that's super cute. I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. Why is that? I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. Huh. Hmm. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop. So I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Oh boy. Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xin Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself uh. in such an ill-tempered tone? <laughs> oh, come on! Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. Ooh. Oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird. Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, Bruh. and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? <laughs> All it takes is just a simple amount of food for Paimon to kiss your ass, I guess. Cloud Retainer sits down her bags while, Sh while Shuyu hands out the grilled fish. As everyone begins to talk, a lively conversation fills the usually tranquil environment of Mao Aotsang. <sighs> so delicious. Paimon's life is complete! <laughs> Hello, Ego Omelette. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? Are there any questions? Mm hmm Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. How do you focus hard on eating? <laughs> uh, I'll be the one making anyways. Paimon knew she could count on you, Traveler. One will wait Reloader. on this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Check on how construction is going. What about you, Gaming? Hey, Gaming! Want to team up? Huh? I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? Uh, that doesn't seem like you. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Hmm. What shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? 
The butterfly symbolizes the desire for freedom. Perhaps that's also what Gaming's searching for. What do you think, Shiyu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! Swanee? What's a swanee? Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. What's a swanee? What? Wait. Suwanee. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's what she wants to make? Okay, yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, that that'd be a that'd be a little bit hard. Wait, let me let me show y'all. Yeah, that'd be a little bit hard to do. <laughs> I feel. Not gonna lie, maybe just a tiny bit. Oh look here, there it is, an actual Swanee in game in Genshin. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay. It's decided then. Swanee is a as a mystical lion. The new boss. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Auntie. Am I doing it right? Does she enjoy being called Auntie or nah? Hmm. Very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. <laughs> One that was is good. forward to seeing your finished product. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. True, true. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. <laughs> How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. She calls herself Elder, so you think Auntie works? Yeah. I'm going to start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. One was under <laughs> the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. <laughs> Is your kite finished? Caught. Oh, we actually haven't started yet. <laughs> we're going to start uh, right now. Travel ran fast as hell. Travel went away fast as hell. Um, Shenha. It would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil uh or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Hmm. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. I wonder if like horns would be made out of like keratin. Like they're like they would be like nails, but on the top of your head. Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Well, you can't touch a cat's whiskers. Oh, I guess so. Hmm. They probably are really sensitive. Because I do hear that, like... I I feel like... I feel like they are sensitive, but only because, like, I remember one time where I saw a video of a cat uh, getting a haircut, and the dude, like... It looked like the dude was, like, cutting off the cat's whiskers, and people were, were getting mad at the video because, like... They were saying that, like, you can't cut a cat's whiskers, and they're super important to a cat. Uh... Oh, I see... Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Oh, no need. Uh, I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <coughs> anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. We should get started on our kite now. Let's go. First, we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? 
looking at? Huh? What is he about? Uh, he's about to make one of Paimon. But I knew it! <laughs> I knew he was gonna make a Paimon shaped kite. God damn it. Ooh, that's not a completely crazy idea. I've got the traveler mindset. If nothing else, a Paimon shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. I've played as a traveler for so long, I've got his own mindset now. Maybe should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> it's so big. Well, what expression should we give her? They actually the made one. going to be flying super high in the sky. <laughs> um... She should look pleased with herself, she should look afraid, or she should look guilty about something. Hmm. I wonder. Your choice matters, you keep the kite? Oh. Hmm. Afraid, pleased, or guilty? Hmm. So I'm just, I think it would be funny if she was looking guilty. Yeah. Uh, that's the one. I'm gonna now do that one. Decided. Let's make it happen. Let's see what it looks like. Y'all pick that too. Hmm. Hmm. It's done. Paimon has to say, Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. Now we just have to attach the string, right? All right. Gather around, everyone. We didn't get to see it yet. Oh, Shinyan's calling us. You chose the afraid one? I need to see all the other options later. Hmm. Let one take a look. Let me see what it looks like. Wow. Wow. Shinha made a scissor tailed swallow. It's so pretty. Wow, but everyone got expert painting skills. What the heck? Yo, look at these painting skills. Oh my god. Yep. The coloring makes it look a lot like Master. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. Mm. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it, Ganyu? Oh, nice. I did the painting. Oh. <laughs> I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Mm. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. <laughs> Look at those big googly eyes, bruh. <laughs> Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. No way. You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow. The disciples of Adepti really are something. Yeah. You are most filial, Shenhe. One is flattered by the likeness. The swanee that Gaoming and Shuyu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. The eyes and ears glow in the dark. So you're sure to see it at night. Where'd they get glow in the dark paint? What? Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, traveler? Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that looks. That looks so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so adorable. Very Paimon-like indeed. Uh, why do you say that, Shen, huh? That one time the traveler suspected that a piece of meat was missing from their bowl. That was the exact expression on your face. <laughs> Caught. Is that something that happened? 
Uh, so it was you. Is that Caught. the Jade Chamber? The Jade Chamber just fell again. Oh god. Oh. The Jade Chamber has fallen again. As the Dimsel Brave rushes past the Jade Chamber, it drifts towards everyone's feet. Who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? What is Ning Wong going to show up somewhere? Oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery. Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such uh. impertinence. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. She got so mad she turned back into bird. Cloud Retainer? Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Master's going to be okay, right? I'm more worried about the person who released <laughs> the kite. Oh, God. There's wind up ahead. I gotta get Looks pecked like to death. We do get it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's so cute. That's a cute kite. Whoever just pissed them off, they're about to get pecked to death. Oh, God. Barb. It's right there. Hello, AK-47. Hmm. This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. Now is hardly an opportune oh. time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive. Among us! And now the kite has vanished. Among us. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. Oh, God. Your concern is misplaced, surely. Mount Shaper Moon Carver, watch out! Cloud retainer no! Is in the city looking <laughs> Look out! Look out! Or secluded in her abode, attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. Get out of here! On the subject of said kite, however, oh, one God. simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Rest in peace. Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. One well. presumes that this kite belongs to you. Huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. <laughs> One's fault. One seems to recall that Caught. releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her. Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. We can hardly avoid her forever. <laughs> that may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. Yeah, you're caught, buddy. Time to give it up. <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. Absolutely not. You retrieve it. That is not our kite. Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, uh, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. Oh my god, terrible acting. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Oh my verily, god. Verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! <laughs> mm, well, mint! Whoa! Then we'll just be on our way. We got Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here. Huh. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyin. Moon Carver? Mountain Sheeper? Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, you. Uh, mm, uh, she. Okay, now Paimon's getting a weird vibe. Did she say something wrong? Oh, my. It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Then you are not angry? Hmm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? 
One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. Bro. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Yeah. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. They're trying to hype her up to get out of getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. To attend to. It's we'll working. Have to convene again some other time. It actually works. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. Oh god, here we go again. We're leaving already? Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. How fast can Paimon fly? <sighs> it seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Then, should we continue flying the kite? <laughs> A splendid suggestion, but it would be advisable to change locations. Perhaps your mountain would suffice? It is more than spacious enough. A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. These two. <laughs> Ridiculous. So Sianyu can lay eggs? Um, that's a good question. Do you think all the birds, all the illuminated birds, can lay eggs? They're back. <gasps> Paimon's pooped. Uh... Why are there only two of you left? Oh, everyone went home. After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Eh, like kids. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. That's real. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Perhaps he sees himself reflected in them? A reflection of himself? Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? Dang. <sighs> Get all poetic. It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. Mm. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? True. Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? Uh, we wait, how did we get here before her? You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Where were you anyway? Hey, she, she can be nosy. Hmm. I'll let her be was nosy. Merely doing a bit of cooking. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Oh, it's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Uh. Yeah. What? Worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. <laughs> one is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. Wait, why was Shenho so scared? Was it because, was it because she didn't want to eat any of the any of the flowers anymore? <laughs> this is not your world. This is not your region, Heijo. Relax. I called dibs on Paimon's portion. Shenha, Ganyu, come with me. Hu Tao! <laughs> it's not your turn yet! Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you?
are you? If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. I've got I've got Hu Tao and Hazel trying to invade me. Wait your turns. Wait your turn, Hu Tao. Don't you got some bodies to dig? You got some coffins to fill? Oh god. Oh, almost drowned. Almost jumped in there and drowned. Best to disable it. I'm walking to the cutscene before I can do that. That's like Cloud Returner's abode for a few moments. Oh, they got dressed. Ooh. Ooh, look at them. I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Yeah, why is your, your, your thing so, so short? Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. <laughs> Shanna's like, I don't do care. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Slay. Shanna's like, I don't care what I wear as long as I can fight in it. Huh? She asked them just like that? You look great. You look pretty too, Ganyu. Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, you both look so elegant and refined. Those outfits really suit you both. Thanks, Shanna got the pose down. Dang, that's an Instagram picture right there. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? Mm. I like black. Mm. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. <laughs> A virtue I've come to value recently. Actually kind of real. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift. And the kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. Fire outfits. Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xianyan. This golden crab's particular. Oh my god. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet. <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. My mouth's watering. I really need to start eating before I play these events. Because every single time there's food on the screen, I just, like, want to eat. God. It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. Uh, you trounce him. He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. <sighs> oh, well, one will just have to extend one's thanks in person. I think he's got stuff going on. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> one has high standards. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. I am late again. Drawing face, but happy verb story and gram of events again, my dude. Thank you, Alice Mitch, for the 15 months. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. You. Getting, uh, we're finishing the, these events today, hopefully. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shen He. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Man, cooking really expands your brain, huh? Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yun? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Spilling the tea. Oh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. <laughs> she wants the tea. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. Um, might have, would, have, would have been great to ask him beforehand, but... Think, what? 
You think Paimon is a- You think Cloud Retainer would be a gossiper? Actually, you know, she would be the one person at a party that would arrive and sit at a table and just yap her mouth away about all the family gossip. <laughs> this shall not do. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder the in battle. Lament. However, when one asked Minogius' opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. And later... And later? <clears throat> uh... One seems to have strayed off topic. There she goes again. One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. She'd just be spilling the tea. I'm telling you, she'd be the one auntie that always spills the tea of every single thing she knows. <laughs> it is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... What are we gonna do to help? Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. <sighs> no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Hmm. No. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. I think this is something only Gaman can handle. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea! How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? Yep! Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Hmm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Two days. Oh, this part two. That wasn't that long, actually. Hmm. Cloud Retainer is that one Asian mom who is proud of her daughter's achievements regardless of the conversation slash topic. She just wants to brag. True. What's That's that? true. Either that or she'd be the, the single auntie. The single auntie that shows up and, and brings all the kids cool toys. How does it feel hearing a jovial Kalis as Gaming? It feels nice. I like uh, Kalis' voice actor. I like the voice actor. They're really good. I'm glad they were able to get a bigger part. I mean, well, I mean, having Kalis is a pretty big part, but... I'm glad they were, ha they were able to have more lines, you know? Say what world invites? I'm sorry, Klee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anyone who wants to join, but... Uh, yeah. Oh my god, wait, look how many people have the... <laughs> wait, actually, no, never mind, it's not that many. I was about to say, look, look at how many people had the Paimon banner. There's one. Oh, there's two, three, four, five. Oh my god. Why do I just keep this name card forever? Nah, I have other better ones as well. Klee wasn't invited. It's all right. Give it like, I don't know what, three, four more months. She'll have her event. Surely. When was Zack the voice of voice a character in Star World? That should balance it out. True. Uh, oh wait, no, it's two days later. My bad. Tick tock. Tick tock.
Why is there still no way to like speed this up? <laughs> it's so long waiting for this. Usually you could do like the um you could do like the trick of like pressing it and then pressing escape to like get out of it early. But it doesn't work with that. Hope everything goes well. For some reason it doesn't work with the time with the clock. Only with everything else though. It used to work, but they fixed it? Really? Why? That's so weird. Oh, maybe maybe it glitches out sometimes. Hmm. Hi, Gummy! Hi, Monsies. You've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Playing hmm. games already, are we? Who won this time? You the one buying dim sum again? Hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Uh, ah, perfect, you're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Ooh. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? We're here. Uh, uh. If the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? I already need. I already know what it's gonna be. Um, of course. The sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. That's fine by me. <laughs> uh. All right. Um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. I feel like you know something's up, right? Dude, look at that. That's so cool. The statue's cool. <laughs> You're a bit quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Oh, it's gonna be delivered to his uh to his dad's house, isn't it? That's probably why he's quiet about it. Hello. You must be the tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. <sighs> yip tak. Dad? <sighs> yeah, I knew it. Oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. Mm. Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gaming is super good at what he does. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself at least. <sighs> the the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Mm. Then let's get going. Uh, uh. No talk. Uh, a very important client has asked for you by name. You kind of have to come with us. Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. I see. Mm. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. Let's go. This is awkward. This is very awkward. We have to walk all the way there. We have to walk 1,800 miles all the way to Wangshu Inn. Dude, that must have been the most awkward walk ever. <laughs> Do I already know the statue for Lancer right this time is one of Xiao's friends? I didn't know that. We've been walking for so long. 
Is anyone tired? How about we stop and rest for a bit? I'm fine. Uh... Gaming, don't you usually have some delicious snacks on you? Come on, bring them out so we can share them! This is so awkward. Fine. Thank you. Uh... But the winter melon cake he gave us last time was so delicious. Have you ever tried it before, Mr. All right, all right, Paimon, you're not helping. Uh, Paimon. You're not helping, Paimon. You can relax. It's, it's Minogius? Oh. Minogius. He made Rex Lapis's Archon outfit. That's a good statue to have this time. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god, it's this guy again. <laughs> Star Snatcher. From Xiao's story quest. Yeah, I mean, didn't he, um... Didn't he, uh, go to rebuild the Pervasi's temple? That's all over here? Yeah, like, over here? I wonder why he's there again. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? That was someone else, I think? Oh. Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? <laughs> Cloud Retainer in the back. I can see your leg, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> I recognize that I'm bird. I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. Okay, we'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on- Halt! Who goes there? Who goes there? Uh-oh. It appears that one's uh movements were overly conspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, here comes Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Enough of Again. Your Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Oh boy, here we go. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Ah! What do we do? It seems as if these two are acting alone. Oh my god. It would be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, coming. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. This <laughs> is the wink. <laughs> a thorny foe, indeed. Let us depart. And seek a target softer in blows and disposition. <laughs> These two are so goofy. <laughs> uh -uh. Don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Oh my god. And the god retainer looking in the back. <laughs> away. Let us away. Oh my god. Coming! Don't worry, he's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. Oh my god. But Coming, I... <sighs> if he had just stayed by my side and learned a family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here, in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. All is going to plan. <laughs> We should be good to stop here. Who's this? Oh, Zhang Li? How did you get Zhang Li involved in this? Zhang Li? Oh no, what is he doing here? What? <laughs> Bro, it's just casually flying a kite. Good sir, please. Boots out kite. Wheel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. <laughs> Bandits acting in broad daylight. Just casually getting the Lord of Geo involved. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, I see. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. <laughs> if your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Oh my god. Throat. 
He must have he must have figured it out by now. Is he just playing dumb on purpose? If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. The guard that was ex escorting us is already on their tail. <laughs> These uh, they, um, oh? this is so goofy. Well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm. That would be lovely. He's just enjoying retirement. Yep. Just flying a kite. Just a casual day for Zhongli. And with not a single Mora to his name. So, uh, Uncle Ip does have a reason to be worried. After all, Ga Ming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Ga Ming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is it not? Oh, have you seen him perform? Hmm. Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyue Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. <laughs> I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle. Wow, he's, uh, he's hyping him up. What's such high praise from Zhongli? Uncle Yip. Uh, Seems like Zhongli has decided to skip the formalities. Uh, well, he... He's a hard worker, yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. I... <sighs> Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit hot-headed. Uh, get it? Because he's... Because he, cause he's, he's pyro. And he, and he has and he has red. <laughs> get it? <laughs> it's understandable Sorry. to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey... Perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life. And I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Mm. Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on wu-show dancing. It made me happy. But I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. What do you mean? Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. Mm. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. Young, huh? <laughs> Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. 
Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Then she's more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Iptak. Iptak. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. This is some real dad's dad talk over here. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Real. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. True. <laughs> the blink of an eye, you say? Do things change so quickly? Hello, oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Karina, for the 25 months. Welcome back. Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Xiang Li certainly has a way with words. Yeah. Very eloquent. I wish to be as eloquent as him. I want to get rid of the oh, stutter. Oh, Gaming is back! Hey, Gaming, we're over here! Hi, Gaming. Did you kill those guys? <laughs> Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and... Mr. Zhong Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> a fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, <clears throat> is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Yeah. Hmm. Somehow I feel like he found out. Uh-oh. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? Yep, he's not that dumb. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, that's how we're starting off? Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. Yeah. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. True. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Mm-hmm. He's so perceptive. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. So he's, so, he's an actual expert here. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and Liyue a harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? <laughs> I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me? Yeah. <sighs> Caught. Yeah. Uh, jigs up. I appreciate it. I, I really do. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits, and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. Yeah. It's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him, and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. 
I'm certain of it. And you? Will you talk to him? Oh. Well, I mean, if neither of you will talk to each other, then how are you going to solve things? You told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. True. Listen to us. It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? It won't hurt to try at least. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. <laughs> you flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? It's not like it was alcohol. <laughs> Ip Doc and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. <laughs> well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. I mean, I'd love to learn from Zhongli. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhongli? <laughs> I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok. But I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend. <laughs> Gotta go back to Hu Tao. Where's the oh, Bu Tao Kai? I, I hope I didn't keep you. We saw him flying a Bu Tao Kai. I want to see it again. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find the time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. Dim sum. Zhongli, you two have a nice chat, all right? Good luck. Don't cry. Where was this Paimon and Farina story quest? I mean, th that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying is like Paimon can be very, very like hit or miss when it comes to actually being empathetic with some people like. I don't know what it is, but sometimes she can be empathetic some t and like pick up on the smallest things and be really good at like talking things out with other people. And sometimes it's just like, sometimes you just want to, you just, you just want to like punt her into the sky. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never change, do you? Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. Hello. Oh, I shall. <laughs> <laughs> he said hello. <laughs> Lament. <laughs> I've been here the whole time. Oh, really? Oh, he was. <laughs> A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? What is she doing here? <sighs> I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhang Li. Uh I might as well go pay my respects. And why does he call him Zhongli even is mine? So no, I can't call him Rex Lapis anymore. I can't. It's you. I thought you were Director Who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... Father and son moment here. He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. <laughs> hmm. Ugh. <laughs> 
Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? <laughs> While we're on the subject... Sesame I oil. I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. Hmm. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite. <gasps> it's one another one. Any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? Aww. All right. Xiao flying a kite. <laughs> I have made my comparisons. <laughs> if speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I wanted to see Xiao flying a kite. <laughs> I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? What? Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. <laughs> he said, I hate... <laughs> he, he was probably sitting there flying the kite like, I hate this. But I have to do it for Shangli. <laughs> so, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon kind of didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Well, doesn't matter. We're going to win anyway. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Mm, Although, he's indifferent. watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Aww. Mm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite shell? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. Minokis no. This was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of among orientation us. and design. Among us. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Sure. Mm. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. I'm definitely gonna go to the Pervasi's temple again. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. I'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiangli. See you later. See you next time. Aww. Uh. <sighs> All right, well, here we go. Uh. From a lighthearted moment to serious talk. Oh, boy. Coming. Dad. Uh. 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 You can go first. Awkward. I don't have anything to say. That was solar. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea, or would you prefer something else to drink? My God. No need, I'm not tired. Here we go. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. Oh, boy. So I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Xianyun and Shanha doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just... Take a seat and see what happens. A lot of people. Perfect. 
I just so happened to have bought some Sunglow tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. This is so awkward because <laughs> of the acting. It's funny though. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. <laughs> One has more than had one's fill already. Nice. That's all you get for, like, buying too much. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. This is why you never buy too much of one thing. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble. But I deal with them as you taught oh. me. By pinning their heads against the table. What? <laughs> what? Wait, wait. What? Are Auntie Xian Yun and Shen He serious right now? <coughs> what? Uh. Oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shen He's various eccentricities. Oh my god. Mm. What? What? Uh, what I meant to ask was. Have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. <sighs> you already know of my past circumstances. <sighs> Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. Oh, what a real mother and daughter talk here we're having. <laughs> <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. <laughs> what? Well, what a great conversation we're having here. I guess maybe Gaming is not doing so bad after all. <laughs> I'm too hard on him. That's what he gets from all of this. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Oh my. Do you have any plans for today, Shen He, <laughs> he said. How about we do something fun? Bro was like, damn. Coming's life may be rough, but it's not as bad as hers. That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. This is getting worse by the second. <laughs> 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 this is not going well. Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. Oh my god. <laughs> if you come home... There will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. <laughs> Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. Aww. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xian Yun's plan not work after all? Um. Uh, hey you two! Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the bags. Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? Yeah, he, tow he towers over the traveler, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so how about that head smashing into a table, huh? Master, did I say something wrong earlier? 
I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. <laughs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. <laughs> then I helped? Naturally. <laughs> your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shen He. You need not change who you are. Ah, <laughs> uh, Shen He, never change. Stay pure, Shen He. She really do not be know <laughs> what's wrong. <laughs> It's like, what do you mean I can't? What do you mean I can't beat up the drunk customers? <laughs> Isn't that the best choice of method? It always silences them the fastest. <laughs> Bad karma. <laughs> she could take it. You must be Charlotte. Mr. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontaineans are big tea drinkers, too. The Fontaine Market. Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course. Please follow me. <laughs> the wink. Is this person also involved in your plan? <laughs> I do. She's the very important client. And here, I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. You would be surprised. Over here. Yoo-hoo! Over here! I. Huh? What? Auntie Shen Yun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. Yoo-hoo! Bring Shenna what's needed for Yip for Yiptok to snap out of it. I'm the parent, you must listen to me, must stop. Yeah. It worked! It was awkward, but it worked. I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. <laughs> also, I was going to ask, what do you... What actually... No, I could just literally just Google this. Never mind. Right, let me she was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. I still have a lot to learn. I was searching up which came first, coffee or tea, and apparently tea is like older by like two millennia. As for the next step. Oh no. What? What's wrong, Gaming? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'm rich. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly. Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. Mm. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's gonna bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Wow, what, what, that, that was well thought out. Oh, okay. Did Paimon think of that? Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. But I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Nah, no, you're good. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah, we're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. Translation, we can manipulate Fontaine's market with the media so you don't have to worry right, about the money. Leave it to us. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that would cause a scandal if anyone ever found out that, they, that that was what they were doing. Hmm. I 
I mean, it's not like anyone else would find out, but... We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite! Buh. Bum bum bum. Oh, hi, Charlotte. Wait, can I sit down with them? Oh, no, I can't. Do your teas pair well with milk? What about sugar? Uh, can we skip that question? <laughs> <laughs> of course. You would much prefer that the teas be made plain, I suppose. Perhaps you could provide some descriptions of their flavor profiles during the interview. Ah, oh, no problem. Noted. Now then, let's discuss tea box design, shall we? Recently, I've learned a lot about traditional Liyue motifs and their deeper meanings. I was thinking if there was some way to integrate these motifs into the design of the exterior packaging. Now that's an interesting idea. If you ask me, I would probably... Hmm. Actually, I didn't know that you... Can you make tea with milk? Instead of water? I didn't know that, that you could do that. I've always thought people... Like, literally always made... It, oh, yeah, milk tea? Yeah, that makes sense. But, like, what about regular tea? Like, not non, like, boba or milk tea. Hmm. Well, I mean, I get... The cogs are turning. Hello again! Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Uh, I'll be sure to. Mm. And are you here to buy a kite? Please, take your pick. Oh, we already have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those, um, device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Ah, yes. Here you go. Please, take it, free of charge. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. Uh. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. All right, then. Thank you. I'm going to show off with our Paimon kite. <laughs> <sighs> it's done. Some people add almond milk for hot tea. As far as you've seen, Brits add milk to their tea for flavor and stuff. Easterners join their tea plain. Hmm. Let's get down to business. I'm gonna try it with milk. Looks like we finished everything we needed to do. Let's find a good place and put this thing into the sky. Talking loudly on purpose? Am I loud? My bad. <gasps> Cutscene! Oof. <laughs> Gee -gee, we're almost Aww. There. <laughs> okay. Gigi and Yao Yao. Best friends. The outfits look so um, good. Aw, uh, they fixed the. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> the lantern right is as festive as ever. Alright, everybody try to spot any of the characters. Where's Huta? Where's Ningguang, of all people? Where's Kuching? Oh, what's going on? Did something happen? Uh, what should we do? Oh, should we get the mill with? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Bro, standing on water. Ooh, look at him go.
He's doing this all water, bruh. He's so cool. This is such a cool scene. Look at him go! Oh, there's coaching. Pose for the fans. Any pictures already? Uh, I need to load more film. <sighs> Are we gonna get a shot of Xiao looking up again? Where's Xiao at? He's gotta be here somewhere, right? <laughs> the Whopper Flower. Wait, the wind. <laughs> okay, slight flex, a slight flex. All right, Cloud Retainer. Here's your towel. A super sweet cutscene. Aww. Aww. That was super good. That was really sweet. Yes, I did. That was a super sweet cutscene. I like that. And I loved the dance. The music and the dance was so good. Dude, they keep... I feel like they keep, like, outdoing themselves with these cutscenes. I hope it only gets better from here. I think I'll head off now, if that's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need. No need. Master is waiting for me right over there. Hmm. Got it. <laughs> there they go again. <laughs> I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushou dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. For real. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? Absolutely. I I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Mm. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Mm. Dad. Aww. Son. Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. 
I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well, um... <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. Ah, those are the words everyone wants to hear. <laughs> those are the words that'll make anyone happy. <laughs> Alright, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? <laughs> Give him a hug. Aww, there we go. <laughs> Seeing the two of them talk things through like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. Yep, it was all because of you. <laughs> <laughs> now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But... You came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Oh my god, I want dim sum. Right? I, I need dim sum so bad. Dad, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay, then I'm off. See you soon. So beautiful. Also, I realize I'm in the wrong scene. That's quite the smile you've got there, Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Hmm. Like eat dim sum? I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. We could do that too. If everyone has time. Maybe we could all get together and... Eat dim sum? Go fly a kite. Oh. Yeah, we could do that too. And there's part three. Nice. And now for the last act, which a lot of people have said is um, just an epilogue. Just a lot of uh, extra stuff. Talk to the NPCs. Which ones? The NPC locations? Okay, I know where I know where one's gonna be, obviously. Time to go to Pervasi's temple. Hi, Xiao. Traveler. Hi, Xiao. It's just as I thought. You stopped short you stopped short of stepping into the city again. Being in the city isn't the only way for me to appreciate the lights and beauty of Lantern Right. Look, Liyue Harbor lies just beyond this mountain. Oh my god, I, 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 keep, I keep forgetting how big the Jade Chamber is. As long as I stand at this vantage point, I may freely behold the sights of all the kites slowly ascending into the sky. For me, that is enough. Hmm, alright. I invited you here because there is something I would like to do. I want to release a shell lantern and... I'd like you to be there for Aww. it. Aww. Did you make it yourself? Yes. I apologize for its crude appearance. I have little skill in that regard. No, it's perfect. Do not undersell yourself. You are very kind, as usual. It is perfect. All right. It's time. How cute. How cute. <sighs> As the Xiao lantern slowly disappears into the tranquil night sky, Xiao's expression softens. Traveler. Yeah? Thank you. Aww. No problem, Xiao. We always appreciate Xiao. In memory of Minogius? Yeah. Charlotte is near the kite cellar. Okay. Look, I, I still have... <laughs> Wait. Just, yeah, just slight flex real quick. Where is it at? Where is it at? Uh, yeah. I still have all these shell lanterns. 371 of them. You know what I should have done? I should have, I should have crafted like 9,999 of them. So I could just like, in, it like have the biggest flex ever. 
I just need to use this eventually. Okay. So, near the bridge. Let's try it over here first. Back in 1.4? Yeah. That was so long ago. That was... That was like... Three years ago. Holy shit. Hi, Charlotte. Oh, Lantern Rite was simply amazing. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep tonight. And about the mechanical vertical lifting device. Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. It was invented by a guy from Fontaine. His name is Eildeson. He's always tinkering away at some mechanism or another. He's even asked the Steambird to write about his inventions on more than one occasion. I believe I have a direct quote from him about this particular one. Ah, oh, yes, here it is. The device is powered entirely by mechanical components without the need for any additional energy source. Hmm. Basically, it's a manually operated cranking device. Uh. How high you can fly entirely depends on how much force you can exert. Hmm. Combining this invention with a kite. What a great idea, right? So wait, so it's kind of like a reverse fishing rod? <laughs> hmm. About the interview and working together with Gumming's father. Oh, my conversation with Mr. Ip went really well. I've already sent the first draft of my article back to the Steambird. It's a piece that contains all the pertinent information while also telling a story. I'm quite proud of it. Oh, that reminds me. I should thank everyone who made this possible for me. Especially that spirited lady with those peculiar turns of phrase. Miss Shenyun was her name, right? It was all thanks to your connections and creativity. I would have never thought I'd be able to bring such a special gift back to Fontaine with me. Imagine if Fon imagine if Charlotte just appears in every single like regional event now. <laughs> she's gonna be she's gonna be Miss Worldwide. <laughs> That'd be so fun to see. So about the mechanical vertical lifting device. Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. Cause we have we've already seen her in Mondstadt, and now we have Leeway. So now we have to see her in an Inazuma one. And a Sumeru one. It was invented by a guy from Fontaine. His name is Eildeson. He's always tinkering away at some mechanism or another. He's even asked the Steambird to write about his inventions on more than one occasion. I believe I have a direct quote from him about this particular... The device's power oh, yeah, is basically combining this invention with a kite. What a great idea, right? Uh, and then about the lantern right This was my first time experiencing a foreign holiday in person. It was... So exciting! The festive atmosphere, the contagious holiday spirit, the profound, storied cultural traditions steeped in symbolism. Oh, I almost forgot. Kuching even gave me a kite with a poem on it that she wrote herself. Aww. It goes, dreams are like paper kites. With them do our hopes take flight. Sailing high above the clouds, they yearn for something more profound. Yet try we may and try we might, a deeper truth waits in plain sight. Though we hang our hopes and skies abound, many joys lie on the ground. Hey, she was she writing fire. I want to include this poem in my special feature on Lantern Right. I'm sure a lot of people will love it. Hmm. Oh, she met Raiden during the TCG event? Why do I not remember this TCG event? I'm like trying to remember which TCG event. Oh, wait, no, I remember it. I remember it now. It was the one with um, Kirara in it. I remember now. Yeah, she did meet that. So now we have to wait for a Sumeru one. I see. Yep, and happy lantern right to you. Now we have to move. Now we have to get her in Sumeru somehow. Okay. And someone said that Cloud Retainer is at her house and Pervasi's. Oh no, Pervasive, uh, Mountain Shade. Oh yeah, there they are. They're over here. Fuck them first. Given your present countenance, one presumes you are missing some old friends again. One cannot help but be reminded of them. Pray speak. Unburden yourself of these sentiments. One simply wishes Monogius were alive to witness such peace alongside us. Aww. He was so skilled in matters of craftsmanship. Kite making would scarcely prove to be a test of his capabilities. Were he yet amongst the living, he could have opened a kite stall. One is certain it would have been an establishment rich not only in profit, but also esteem. 
And if, as in the past, he were unable to involve himself in matters of the mortal realm, we could sell the kites in his stead. When we finished, we could bring him back wine and partake in drink and good company. Mooncarver, those are now but fond moments in our memories. Mm. Indeed. The dead are gone, so as the representatives of the living, let us take in the sights for a bit longer, if just for his sake. Aww. I always like hearing about, um, lore from Liu Wei. Oh, wait, they're here again. Vlad and Nadia. Ever think there might be some kites that can no longer be retrieved after being sent up into the sky? I guess so. Even if you could control the line, the one might decline your commands all the same. Speaking of that, should we go buy one? I mean, I haven't flown one before, so I'm not sure if it'll work out. Or... Let's say we make one together. I've seen kids discussing the patterns they want to draw on theirs, so it might not be that difficult. The two of us. Sure, let's give it a go. Dude, I remember- I remember we shipped them back in the day, oh my god. I still can't believe they've they've managed to withstand the test of time and actually became a couple together. That's so that's so funny. And they're still together. Oh, and Ying Yinger uh catching and and San Yun are talking there. Let me see. Hi Yinger. It's been a while, but you still look lovely as ever. Would you be interested in trying my new fragrance? You could even dob some on the kite while you're flying. That way, it'll carry you far and wide. I imagine such a kite would make a fine decoration in your home, too. It's sure to leave a lasting impression. Oh god, not the potion making. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Hmm. Uh, one may have won the kite flying competition, Yu Hung. But this prize should truly be reserved for another. Worthy platonic even for you? I think they don't want to go too far with it. I think I think they also want to like keep it simple in case there's like new people that come in that uh that haven't, you know, known about their four year long relationship, probably. Does it count as cheating if you were never in a relationship in the first place? Technically no. But Hmm. I mean, if the feelings were there, maybe. Mm. You need not be so humble, honored Adeptus. Among all the kites, yours was quite literally a cut above the rest. Please accept this prize. You deserve it. Besides, I'm quite certain we owe a fair share of the success of this year's lantern rite to you. If you insist, then one can hardly continue to refuse. However... There is another matter with which one would ask your assistance. Did you miss a cutscene? Yeah, we just got past the cutscene. Of course. Hmm. One would be much obliged if you could distribute this case of Sunglo tea among the Millilith on duty. The security of the festivities rests entirely on their shoulders, after all. One presumes they could always benefit from something to invigorate their spirits. <sighs> Cloud Retainer is so thoughtful and attentive to others' needs. I would expect nothing less of an esteemed adeptus such as herself. <laughs> Understood. I'll get on that right away. I forget that. <sighs> A fortuitous result indeed. One's tea surplus has hitherto resolved itself. I still haven't forgotten that coaching is a is a Zhongli super fan. <laughs> Shenna and Ghani are by Wanmin restaurant? Oh, yeah, yeah, there they are. I don't get it. Is something wrong, Shenha? Tell me. Perhaps I can help. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. So I thought this outfit would be <laughs> acceptable to wear to work. But Xiongling told me it was inappropriate. Oh, my God, Shenha. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I mean... I mean... She could attract more customers. There's a plus. <laughs> but inappropriate? How? She probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. But for a festival gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet, your outfit is more than appropriate, Shenha. So you're saying it's only something I should wear in front of important people. <laughs> <sighs> 
<laughs> Suppose that's another way to think of it. Oh my. <laughs> oh my lord. We didn't get to see Xiangling this year? For real. I, we didn't get to see Xiangling or Golba. I'm surprised. Okay, and then... I think there was one more someone said, right? Or is that all? Mm. No, who, who did it withstand the test of time? Yinger and Timaeus? Yeah, where is Timaeus? Where, where is him with this girl? Come on, Yinger's over here, but we didn't see Timaeus. For Raisi's Temple? Yeah, I already, I already talked to Xiao. Have Singcho wear his skin? Oh yeah, that's right. I actually need to do all of the... Um... Oh no, I need to do the uh, part 4. I need to do Act 4 and then I'll do the... I'll do all of the mini games so I can get my... All the, all the rewards. Let me go over here real quick. I want to see something. It's interesting that we get to see Hu Tao without her having any lines, but we don't get to see Xiang Ling or Goba. <laughs> Chi Chi and Yao Yao, they're on the second floor across the Feiyu Commerce Guild. Let's see. <laughs> they're on the bridge above uh, coming and his. And his dad. Coming's behind me? Oh. Come in this direction, I think. I see. I'm scoping out the place. Oh. Oh, there's Chi Chi. Yeah, yeah. Our kite is so high up. Thank you for inviting me, Yao Yao. I am having. A lot of fun. Aww. I'm glad. If you want, we can go fly kites some other time too. The fun doesn't have to end today. Really? How about we do it during the day next time? That way we can see the design better. When it flies super high up, it will look exactly like a real finch. Okay. Uh, can I take this kite to bed with me? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> But of course. Aw, that's cute. The bestest of friends. Oh, here they are. So you're still a big fan of winter melon cake then? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I guess you heard everything Paimon was saying, huh? <laughs> <laughs> of course. She was talking about you. As your father, how could I not listen? Mm. Remember back when you were a kid? And you would sit on my shoulders to watch the Wuxiu dance. Aww. On our way back home, you would beg me to buy you some winter melon cake. We would only buy two at a time. But before long, we tried the winter melon cake from every vendor that street had to offer. There was also that one time you used your pocket money to treat me. Do you still remember? Yeah, I remember. That was the best winter melon cake I ever had. Aww, bro, it's so heartwarming. And let's go back sometime. The shop's still there, and I remember the way. My treat, just like before. Are you sure? Absolutely. So heartwarming, bruh. Man, man, man. What a heartwarming lantern right. This is actually... Probably one of the best lantern rites we've had. I'm actually gonna say, this is probably one of the best lantern rites. It was very heartwarming. And, and with all the cameos and everything. And even the humor. I feel like they... I feel like it was very humorous this time around. It's... I really liked... I really liked this lantern riot. If I were to rank the Lantern Rites, how would I rank them? Um. Well, the first one holds a special place because obviously it's like, you know, the first one that we ever played. Uh, I would probably rank... Hmm. 
I have to remember which one was like the second and third one. What was the second and third one was? I know the okay. I know the third one was with uh, the hotel rap. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that one was uh, interesting. Wait, let me see. Yeah. Did I play during that lantern rap? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't play during the. Oh, I forgot about that. Was coaching skins on the Jade Chamber? And also Ping Lawyer? Are you the final part? Yeah, I am. I think it was the Union's performance. Right, that's right, that's right. Let me think, let me think. That one was so good despite Hotel Rap. Had Gui Zhang and Madame Ping and Venting and Zhongling meeting. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I forgot about that. Okay, then I would say. I think, okay, there was one that I definitely missed. It was the one that had Ningguang skin, right? That's the one that I probably, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know if I could give, give it a rating because I didn't even play it. I didn't even play it. Because that was the time where I, where I took a break off of Genshin completely. <sighs> mm. Okay, one is definitely, you know, the first one that we did is definitely number one for sure. Um... I guess maybe by default I had to put the one that I didn't play at last, sadly. And then I would put four, this one at number two, and then I guess I guess the third one would have to be at number three. So yeah. Okay. Wait, two days later. What's number one? The first one? Yeah. The first lantern right we had. Thank you, Crimson Dale, for the five gifted subs. Thank you. And also, thank you, uh, Kaz Corrupt, for the hundred bits. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why didn't uh, what did the bit bits thing play back then? I don't I don't remember hearing a notification for it. That's weird. I'll have to fix that later. Thank you so much. Yep. And thank you, Fire Knight Atlas, for the nine months. Welcome back. Also planning on spending some time in Chaoying Village? True. We didn't have anything else to do today, right? Why don't we go have a look around? Maybe we'll run into her. Oh, so I guess we actually are gonna see Hu Tao. Here I was thinking that she wasn't gonna have any lines. Hu Tao. Hu Tao. I want to try this. Oh. Wait, did I just start a roll quest accidentally? Oops. Uh. Hmm. It's a puzzle? Just leave the area he resets? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh no, did, it, did I just run into a rope? Bro, I'm trying to make my way to the... <laughs> to th oh my god, can I... Hold on. Give me a second, give me a second. Classic. Classic, really. The horror vs. special.
please let please please tell me it doesn't it's not gonna lock me into it i don't want to have to skip more beginning dialogue again of another world quest it's the work goes to fujin really oh Damn it. I have so many world quests to do. Oh my god. Just thinking about it. Oh god. And I have so many other games I want to play too. But I did say that I was gonna... 100% everything for my New Year's resolution. What if I just die? What if I just pass away, guys? How about that? Yeah, I just pass away. Might end up doing that while playing the world quests. Oh my god, it 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 does get locked into it. Alright, well. You hear something that matter? Young master, are you the son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild's manager? Uh Nope, I am but a humble servant. The real one is beside me. In fact, the real one beside me is in fact the real one. Don't listen to these jokes, old man. You're not in the Commerce Guild's young master. My apologies, I was considering only your wondrously fashionable attire and your flying companion. Your conduct, too, was so unlike ours that I assumed that you must have come from Leeway Harbor to discuss matters with us. Lou, I am surnamed, and all, and all in the village call me Grandpa Lou. I apologize, I must... <clears throat> uh, I apologize, I must. Recent years have not been kind. I have not even the tea to treat you to as guests. Uh, the Adepti will certainly not be satisfied with the tea ceremony this year. Huh. Huh? Uh, Grandpa Lou, the stuff right by you, aren't those tea leaves? Uh, the quality is far too lacking. How could I possibly serve such things to my guests? Speaking honestly... We are waiting for someone from the Fane Commerce Guild, for we must discuss with them the tea leaf problem. They are our biggest customers, after all. The crux of the matter is that this batch of tea is simply unsatisfactory. Whether it be in terms of taste or quantity, this is an open secret among tea merchants. Old Lu, uh, the village chief has also decided that no tea may be sold until the quality problem is solved. I've heard that the young master of the Commerce Guild is exceptionally smart and skilled. If he has caught wind that this year's tea harvest was lacking in both quality and quantity, uh, I thought he would come in person, or if not, send someone here. So here I wait. Anyway, the problem with the tea leaves, I believe it lies with the soil. Problem with the soil? Indeed, I've lived here my whole life and worked with tea since I was but a wee lad. <laughs> a wee lad. And I can notice problems that others may miss. As I see it, and may Adeptus Fujin bless us, it must be an imbalance in our soil and water. Adeptus Fujin? Yeah, the, the girl we met. The woman we met earlier. Oh, so you've heard of the tale. You, so you've also heard the tale? That's quite rare. Even among f locals, few remember. Many, many years ago- Oh god, the story time. <laughs> Did I just skip this? Should I just skip through it? Or like speed read in my mind? I'm gonna just speed read it in my mind. Many years ago, Chaoying Village was nothing but Baron Hill. Terrifying demons there dwelt there. At the Fizz defeated it, and then she planted tea trees, allowing the ancestors to live there. But if it's really a if it's really a problem with the water and soil, then I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do about it either, bro. I'm just walking by. I'm just visiting, dog. You know, the first thing about water, and no weight. Isn't that exactly what we're here to investigate? Bro. Whether or not, I believe- <laughs> I believe you. Makes things easy. Come, I'll bring the tea leaf samples. Let's go have a talk with Old Law. Something wrong? Young master and young lady, if it isn't too much trouble, could you pretend you are from the Feiyun Commerce Guild when we are meeting? Village Chief Law is a good person, but how to put this? He's put more trust in the machines. What? Cultivation techniques, fertilizers, and things like that. Hmm. I mentioned imbalance in the soil and water before, and we parted on bad terms, but if it was a young master of the Fane Commerce Guild, I'll try, I guess. Doesn't seem like a good plan to pie mine. Hiya. 
Don't worry. Definitely accidentally started a long ass world quest there. <laughs> Let's get you to bed, Grandpa. Okay, let me get this teleporter real quick. Don't fall. Do not drown in the water accidentally. Have you heard of Dark Plagueis the Wise? Classic. The mountain air is so refreshing. It makes Paimon feel like she can float around all day and never get tired. Cream! Gummies! Oh my. Yule fruit! Jesus Christ! Huh? Who was that? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I heard it too. Right? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. Hmm, that voice sounds really familiar. Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? Who was that? Oh my God! They got a loud ass voice. You and Papa make your way up to the mountain in search of the source of the shouting. As far as you can make it out, as far as you can make out, uh, it's almonds. This and cocoa paste that sounds delicious. That's for sure. The lively voice invigorates your steps, and as you and you ascend the mountain in no time. Who was that? It could. Oh, it's <gasps> not Navia and Chlorine. <laughs> Loud ass voice. I can. She. She. We can hear her from all the way down there. God damn. Well, if it isn't my dear partners. See, I told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. It's just your lucky day. Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? Oh, and that reminds me. Happy Lantern Rite. Happy Lantern Rite. Happy Lantern Rite. And to you. Happy Lantern Rite to you too! Uh, wait, if you're here for Lantern Rite, and that voice we heard, that was you, right, Navia? <laughs> oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You've got good ears. Yeah, not, not, not like we couldn't hear it at all. <laughs> that or your voice is just really loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. True. Indeed. I suppose it's an asset. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Wait, 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 that wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? Almond. And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? Where's your banner, Chlorine? <sighs> Soon, right? Soon, right? No, it's not yes. a code. The words are meaningless. Perhaps, but the act of shouting was very meaningful indeed. That's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. I see. So it's not what you were shouting that matters, but the act of shouting itself. <laughs> exactly. You get me, partner. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here and they said it was fine. Apparently, most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the locals are used to it by now. So, you see, it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Hmm. Maybe I should try that. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> when you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Hmm, not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Monka. Oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. I guess so. <laughs> shooting, shooting things. Yep, definitely a good way to uh, relieve stress. Mm. I've definitely done that once or twice. Mm -hmm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Uh, anyway, why uh, don't you two give it a try? Shout anything you want. 
It's a real stress reliever. Hmm. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. And I prefer to keep things bottled up. Uh, yeah, we already know that. <laughs> Oh, I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. More like the writers don't want to tell us anything. No need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. Who? Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? Farina's also here? In Chaoying Village? Believe in your ears. It is indeed as you heard. Where is she? Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Yes. We could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what? what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. And what do you know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain <laughs> the minute she saw us. Oh my god. Uh, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, So help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. You caught her ass. Uh, so... You could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. Uh. She probably would have never thought... No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. True. <laughs> was she alone? I think so. We ran into Nervalet on the way here as well, oh. but he was already on his way back, so Nivulet. we probably weren't together. Dragon Man's here. What? Nervalet was here too? Yeah, why is, uh, why is the entirety of the Fontaine cast here? <laughs> what was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. Next thing you know, we're just gonna find Chevres on the mountains, like, shooting something. Hmm. Nevillette is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, just like you were. My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The... Tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. Uh, you Fontanians in your tea drinking. Oh, it's not for me. I lost a bet with Ridesley, and now I have to buy him something. You made a bet? It was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. These two are like gambling addicts, actually. This is like the. How many times have they bet on something again? Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing. But he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. Actual addicts. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. <laughs> in any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? Ah, uh, Nervalette even mentioned it earlier. Sunglo tea, buy ten boxes, get half off. Oh no, oh no. Yes, yes, that's the one. You didn't really buy... Ten boxes, did you? Oh, God. <laughs> Please. Do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You must have had other plans for the day. Oh, that's right. Who tell? A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village. So we decided to come and see if we could run into her. Oh, dear. We've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. Yeah, we came all the way over here to see Hu Tao, and then we run into, like, the entire Fontaine cast instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We should probably head out and look for Hu Tao. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're gonna stay around for a little longer. Mm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Sounds reasonable. Sounds good. We're gonna head down the mountain then. What do I have to do to get you to yell from the top of this mountain? Uh, Name your price. You really want to hear it that bad, huh? I would like to hear it too. I, I, I don't think she, she definitely doesn't sound like the type of person to yell like ever. So that would be nice to hear once. I'm just curious is all. I have a feeling you'll say something amazing. <sighs> I will pass. No! I prefer to let actions speak louder than words. Okay, 
reasonable. Reasonable enough. No chlorine yelling. Sad goo. Ooh. A disc. Spin crystal. Oh, hey, there they are. Hu Tao and Farina in the same. Right next to each other. You know what else they have with tea? That's right, dim sum! Didn't Gaming say something about dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Ah, I want dim sum! Uh, afternoon tea might, might be more appropriate at this point. Oh, well that's fine too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Now, let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh... Paimon's not seeing things, is she? Is that Farino standing between Jiangli and Hu Tao? Uh, yep. Judging on the head, I'd say so. Wonder what they're talking about. Mm, Zhongli knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farina about Chao Ying Village. Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. <laughs> Wanna make a bet? Fortress of Maripede, but Paimon Addicts. convinced for the right price. Let's say, loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. Actual gambling addicts in this entire game. Since Zhang Li is there, Paimon bets things are pretty tame. It's decided then, Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. Then I vote Hustler Hu Tao. Alright, no time to waste. Let's go see who's right. Oh wait, that is also right. Uh Zhongli is also meeting another another Archon. Like Hu Tao just got jump scared. Oh great, now Paimon shouting too. Oh, well aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. That we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Uh huh? Oh, so both of you are acquainted with the Traveler and Paimon, then? Yep, so many chums in all, all in one place. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you didn't learn that one from me. <laughs> uh -oh. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised to see you here, Traveler. But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well-traveled and well-connected. Yeah, just wait until you meet a certain drunk bard. Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy lantern right. Happy lantern right? It appears you have been to Fontaine then. Yeah, and uh, we kind of kind of saved the entirety of the nation again, but... Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Uh, <laughs> that's... Quite high praise. What I mean to say is, you flatter me, Mr. Zhongli. Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. Nah. I stand before you right now as Wrong. nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative inspiration. <laughs> Loud and correct buzzard. There eh, is maybe actually. more to Mr. Zhongli than meets the eye. I could tell as much from our conversation. Oh, wait, you can already tell. <laughs> well, wow. given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? No, 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 no. I, yeah, you're no common tourist. I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. I, yeah. Oh, does that mean Hu Tao also knows? You may not have heard, friends, but... Uh, um, Miss Hu Tao... Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients! Oh my god. Uh, 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 yep! <laughs> <laughs> Good save, Hu Tao. <laughs> Did you hear that, Paimon? She's Hu Tao's esteemed client. Okay, okay, you win. Yeah. 
guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. The what? She's got, she's got coins in her shoes. What? Uh huh? What's this about winning something? Huh? Wait. Actually, she might be onto something. You know? If you're not even using your feet to walk, why not use your shoes as like a pouch? Wait a minute. She might have cooked. Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. It was Paimon's idea. Uh, -uh. Oh, we just saw you guys <laughs> no -uh. standing on the side of the road and couldn't help but take guesses as to what you were talking about. No. -uh. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. You know me. That I do, my friend. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. <sighs> By newbie, you mean me, right? <laughs> if that's the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. What? Oh, oh my. that's right. Mr. Zhang Li was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. Right, so to draw? Nah. <gasps> you see? Paimon was right too. Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. <laughs> Fine, keep your secret stash then. The boot stays on another day, I guess. How about this? You buy Pine on a bull, and Pine on will also buy you a bull. Uh, as for the third bull... We share. Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. I'll buy you a bull anytime you want. <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway, I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all. What do you mean by that? Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. Did, uh, something happen recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all. Yes. Oh, well, yes. Ah. Really? Oh, no. Who died? Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please uh, accept Paimon's deepest... Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. Huh? But Paimon just thought, since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all... Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. <laughs> I, I mean, it really isn't. She's not wrong. What other services does a funeral parlor provide? Coffins? Really, Paimon? For props? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? Guess not. Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Ah, I see, yeah. Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Liyue. The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. You might even call it a breath of fresh... a fresh tea air... Wait, wait. Tea air? I don't get it. Oh, terror? Ah! Ah! Alright. Alright, we've been around Sino too much. We need to... We need to dial it down a little bit. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's pretty good! I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. Oh, Paimon sees! That makes a lot of sense. So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Well... Not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. It was a fated meeting indeed. Mm. Zhang Li sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Oh? Who was it? Ooh. It's someone you know. Oh. Wanna take a guess? <laughs> our, our dragon man. It was Nuvulet, wasn't it? What? How did 
did you guess that on your first try? <laughs> Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. You tell everyone about your encounter with Navi and Chlorin at the top of the mountain. One look at the pitiful expression on Farina's face is enough to convince you to leave out the part th about the shouting. Huh. Hyman never thought Nervalette would be the type to get lost. <laughs> True. Permission to make an emote out of that joke? Sure, go ahead. I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. Go ahead. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. Hmm, why doesn't he just fly? Why doesn't he just fly? <laughs> yep, that's exactly what he asked. Isn't he a dragon? Can he just float? This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. For him, though, pro swimming would probably be the fastest route of them all. So, were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hotel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know? So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. Mm -hmm. But, speaking of your friend... What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? <laughs> no, he does not. <laughs> uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. Yeah. All in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. He was like, yeah, I've been here for about mm, six hours. Yep, time to go back to my room. Oh? I got a job to do. This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. I'm sure he does. You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. <laughs> Vaca vacation at 5 p.m.? Going to going to send someone to 50 years in prison at 6. Is that so? Wait, you didn't see him, Yoli? Unfortunately, no. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided to fetch some tea for them. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. Um, uh, I, uh, mm, I'm not, I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah, uh... <laughs> Judging by how Zhang Li is acting and taking into consideration Nuvulet's true identity, Zhang Li have been avoiding him on purpose. Yeah, I. Uh, if they met, uh, I think this entire place would have turned into a battlefield. Hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, I. Uh, this place would have literally turned into another chasm. Well, with the Traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. That's right. He's got more friends than he knows what to do with. Um, I have a certain charm about me. Well, that's certainly true. Oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance, you should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. I don't know if we could. I don't know if we could do that. The dude's a workaholic. Just tell him the Palais Marmonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. How do you convince a workaholic dragon to like come outside and take a vacation? Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now, but you know what I mean. That does make sense. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. Well, uh, he is the fair and impartial Eudex of Fontaine, head of the highest court in the land, otherwise known as the demon who controls all the paperwork in Fontaine. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a demon that boring before. <laughs> In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. Yeah, oh wait, I see Chlorine in the background. <laughs> oh, there they are. They're coming here. If I remember correctly, he's already several thousands of years old. Yeah. Uh, you're quite right, Miss Hutao. Oh? 
Traveler, Miss Farina. Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Oh, it's Navia and Cloran. Hi. Hey, over here! <laughs> if you let, let them live another day, thank goodness. We saw you all chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join in. <laughs> if Nuvillette met him, Zhongli would have died twice in the story now. Except this time it would be for real. <clears throat> um, please, excuse the interruption. Oh, <laughs> so polite. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the Traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, <laughs> straight to the point. I like it. Everyone circles around you and begins to introduce themselves. Hu Tao's eyes light up when she hears about Clorin's profession. Oh boy. But a quick explanation from Farina and Navia seems to dispel some of her more misguided ideas. She said, oh my god, you kill people? Woohoo! Mm, it's getting late. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Indeed. Then, Miss Farina. Oh, uh, uh, yes? When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I, I don't think that will be necessary. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Oh, you'd have two bodyguards this time. Um, I didn't mean it that way. It's normal for friends to travel home together if they run into each <laughs> other on the road. Bro. Mm, there are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly. Just like in those ghost stories. Ooh. Eight paths converge in a wood. Beside uh -oh. them an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. Oh god, who tell? But if you take a closer look, there may be something you mistook. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? What could it mean? Oh my. In this wood, where mystery screams. Alright, well now now she's not gonna be able <laughs> now she's not gonna be able to sleep with the lights on for at least another year. Ah, <laughs> oh, GG. My dear Demoiselle, stop uh, uh, ladies, no, uh, I mean friends, please take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. F Farina. <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Uh, well, that's, uh, well, all in the past now. Well, I mean, yeah, but... Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please... And get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. True! Like a true American! Yoo! I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. Well, have you all had a good time? Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot, too. Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. It's fine. You've thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Uh, dim sum mentioned again. Dim sum. Uh. Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks or desserts? They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah, you can say Make that. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious, Paima knows you'll love them. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Wait, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home empty-handed? You're not bringing home any souvenirs? You want? You guys want to kite? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. Oh, please don't tell me you bought... You didn't buy the 10... The, the 10 teas, right? A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps... Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Oh. Clorand is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. Uh, so all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Sijuin. 
Her and her tea. Clorand isn't much of a shopaholic. I guess that's real. Well, one of us has to practice restraint. <laughs> True. But come on, you gotta live life a little. Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my Mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. Well, what about you, Farina? Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. What does this mean? They should all be things I can use. I think. <laughs> so you fell for a few marketing traps then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now Paimon's even more confused. Where is she hiding all of that? If you bought that much stuff? Where did it all go? Into one yeah. of these magic packets? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> actually... Monsieur Neuvillette took them with him. Okay. Oh, so that's what happened. <laughs> Wait, what? Why did he take them? Oh, he's not hoarding treasure, is he? Oh, <laughs> that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Monsieur Neuvillette just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. Wow, what a strong man. That's a real man right there. I felt a bit bad at first, but, uh... I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's a D and D joke. Yeah. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> yeah, the dragon hoarding gold. Yeah, I got it there. He even offered to deliver my gifts to the fortress of Maripede for me once he's done with the day's work. Novelette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. See, even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? <laughs> True. Relevant picture? Oh, wait, this is cute. Wait, hold on. Let me show, let me show. This is cute. Uh, let me see if I can show this. Uh, boo. Here we go. This is cute. <laughs> Look at all those bags. Damn. A strong man right there. <laughs> it's... That's a strong man. God damn. <laughs> oh, and also someone showed uh uh Brandflex also made the emo as well. Dies of cringe. Hold on. Let me see. Alright. Zach. What do y'all think about this? We all think about this. Did I add this? Dies of cringe. How about I add it? Let me see if it works. Does it work? Actually, I think I need to see. start my chatter right now. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't- wait, hold on. I think we need to... It might need to be made uh, public, because it's in a private set, maybe, I think. I don't know. Wait, hold on, let me see. Work on Twitch? It doesn't! It's working? It works? How come I can't see it? Oh, what the hell? At least it works on for you guys. Alright. That's good. Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. Uh, right, Zhang Li? Uh, wow, shade. Indeed. Grand <laughs> said Novala offered to deliver her gifts to Risley. So if we go to the entrance of the Fortress of Maripede, maybe we'll run into Nervalette! Gotta run all the way over but there? We don't know exactly when he'll show up. True. Oh, that reminds me. A new year of work is about to begin. If there's anything you want to talk about, Zhongli, you know you can come to me. I'm all ears. Does the director have any concerns? It just seemed like you were a bit preoccupied today, and much less talkative than usual. He barely said anything other than, is that so? And 
Indeed. Indeed. If you ask me, <laughs> I'd say you're having a midlife crisis. <laughs> you're getting to be around that age after all. Oh my. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> <laughs> I jest. Given its distance from the city, Chao Ying Village enjoys a much slower pace of life. She's throwing so much shade at Zhongli today. <laughs> Surrounded by such peace and tranquility, I also seem to have developed a proclivity for inactivity. I apologize for making you worry. Ah, um, I see. He said I'm lazy now. What do you think, Traveler? Is this atmosphere putting you in a lazy mood too? Out of si out of mind, out of sight. Wow, you are getting really good at these kinds of lines. Indeed. That is my mindset. That's actually how, how my brain works. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. For a lot of things. Well, everyone, make sure that you've got all your belongings with you before we leave. If there's any souvenirs anyone still wants to buy, the time is now. Reliable as ever, Miss President. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Chlorand is right, though. You really are reliable. It's not what she's saying. It's the way she's saying it. I will say, but I never thought you'd be so easygoing outside of work, Clorand. The tone of voice you use when you're working doesn't exactly make you seem like the type who enjoys interacting with people. Well, I try to keep my professional and private life separate. That includes my behavior. You take care now, Traveler. Paimon. Don't worry, your partner is very strong. Ah, trying to act cool now, are we? <laughs> well, I guess it's not an act for you, is it? You are indeed quite strong. <laughs> it's been great talking to you all. I'm really glad I decided to come to Chao Ying Village. Maybe we could go on another trip together sometime? Ooh. Hmm? Corin, Navia, and Farina on a trip together? Hmm. Maybe an event? Maybe a future event? To Inazuma? I don't know. It's nice that Fiorina is still on good terms and friends with both of them after everything that happened from the Fontaine arc. She deserves good company. I know she's good terms with Navia at least. I was I was wondering about Clorin though because after after she left, um, they didn't talk for a while apparently. I win when what? Yippee, I win. <laughs> Is he in the back? Always oh, in the back. Yippee. Last time they kid, last time we talked, Clorin tried to kill her. I mean, true. <laughs> true. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, she understood that, you know? I mean, uh, it's, it's water under the bridge. Speaking of which, when are we going to see the Shogun again? I'm sure she'll just like randomly appear in the background during some event like she usually does. Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. I knew you let few people frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Nevelet? Uh, Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. Jesus. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. Wow. Really? If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chao Ying Village for half a day? Because I'm addicted to working. Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan, rather than the time uh. at my disposal on any given day. <laughs> okay. Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chao Ying Village. Slight flex of being practically immortal. Okay. Thank you for informing me. So, did you deliver the gifts? Yes, they have been safely delivered. <laughs> I have to hand it to Cloran. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. 
All right. Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? Guess not. Hmm? This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you <laughs> think? Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. Oh boy. Ah, uh, about that. Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh? Why? Wait, did he what get... Happened? Oh, no, don't tell me he got scammed, too. No way. No way. It was buy 10 boxes, get half off. Oh, my God. How? How? <laughs> How does everyone get scammed by this? How is Corinne the only person to never, <laughs> to never buy into this? Ah, that explains it, then. Well, go ahead and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. Oh my god. You have my thanks. Oh, there's something else I'd like to give to you. This is... Old people getting scammed. A stone slate. Engraved with a symbolic design. Well, that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. A legal codex, huh? Oh. Hmm. Danny say he wanted a codex? Before the advent of modern writing... Or something like that? Information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Oh, okay. <laughs> Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex and engraved with a symbol instead of text. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. Ah. We joked with Claran some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here you go. <laughs> ah, so that's what this is about. I did not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the banter. <laughs> it is a very good attempt. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. It's an impressive level of... <laughs> it's, at least he's learning. A gift of this significance deserves to be put on display. And I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Ah, oh, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. Just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. Oh my god. But we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sijuin has collected. That sounds good to me. So that's what you were doing in Chaoying Village! Bruh. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local spring water. Oh, how did that taste? The aftertaste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. Mm. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Hmm. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same elsewhere. As they say in Leeway, a balance between work and play is sure to keep your troubles at bay. Fire. Then we are of the same mind. It appears my desire is justified. Yep. If you say so, like, you know you don't have to justify a vacation, right? You can just take one. After all, you're heartily bereft of time. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You're quite right. I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. Man, imagine being... I, I would love this kind of grind set. Like, holy shit. Imagine being having such a hard grind set that you just want to work all the time. Imagine how much money you could make from that. However, after reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions... The idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. And how was it? Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. Uh -huh. Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. At first, soil from the ground is granular and unforgiving, but had the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. Mm -hmm. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted. But now, I have participated in their very making. This is also something I made today. What? 
Oh, wait, that's so cute. Oh, oh, that's so cute. He made this? Wait, this is like his first time making something too. What the hell? Wow, uh, what a big ladle? That's a ladle? Hyman thought it was supposed to be some long-necked sea creature. It's a Dratini, <laughs> a Lapras ladle. <laughs> that was indeed one of my inspirations. It's amazing. Really? You like it? Yeah. To tell you the truth, given your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve. This is the most amount of emotion I've ever heard in his voice. Around such an important holiday such as this, Human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order, but I'm afraid this is all I can offer. If you'll have it, that is. Can I really keep this? You made it by hand and everything. That is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accepted. Then I accept. You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Rite. Oh, that reminds me. That's long the advice for Nubulet's vacation. Hmm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence. Something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's a no. No vacations for him. But, I suppose I understand her point. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. Huh. But now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. I could have told you that. Nice! You got his ladle! That's so cute! Look at the ladle! <laughs> Wait, that's so cute. Imagine if they made merch of that. I could definitely see them making this some sort of merch. Get on it, Hoyaverse. Lantern Rite marks the start of the new year in Liyue. In the spirit of the season, then, I wish you a year of success as vast and endless as the open ocean. Thank you, Nuvulet. About Clarinda and Farina, she was the first to check up on Farina after she moved into the op out of the opera house from Farina's character profile lore. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that's good. At least, at least they were still chill. If you ever do pottery, this is the first thing you're making. I I honestly want to see somebody make it. That would be cool. I would love to see it in real life. Oh, this is the world quest? Oh, it is. Wait, so have I finished? Have I finished? I have. There we are. That's all parts. Very good, very good Lantern Ride events. Honestly, I think this definitely deserves number two spot in rankings of my Lantern Ride events that was really good i like that very nice <laughs> now time to do the now time to do the actual now it's time to do the actual mini games i gotta get my yeah i gotta get my gaming and i gotta get the uh what was it Gotta get my gaming, gotta get my Synchro outfit, and then get all the Primo Gem awards. <laughs> Round and fluffy, soft and bouncy, jump and bump. Oh my, guest. Welcome, welcome, and allow me, Wen Shun, to be the first to wish you, wish the two of you a joyous Lantern Riot. Happy Lantern Riot, Miss Wen Shun. You seem to be reciting something just now. What were you talking to uh, to yourself about? Uh, considering a delectable dessert? Not far from the mark. Nearly a hole in one. I was just thinking about the food Goba and Yugue are gonna make. Eh? Now those are names we know. You know Goba and Yugue too? How could I not? You're, one, you're looking at one of Wanmin restaurant's regulars, you know? 
That's not, not on the road. I, I can eat at least seven meals a week at one main restaurant. Damn, you don't cook? You don't even cook at home? Oh my God. <laughs> seven meals a week? God damn, she got money like that, huh? Eating out every day. When paired with my hometown style of cooking, first some lightly seasoned fare, then a spicy flavor bomb. It's just a smash hit. If I end up with too much heatiness, uh, I if I end up with too much heatiness, just need to t need to down some of the right meds and flush it right out. And then after a couple of days of recuperating, it's back to gorging myself in Chow Town. Sounds amazing. But, but Paimon wants to also try living like that. Anyway, I, I get to see Goba and Xiangling pretty much every week, and sometimes even a, even little Yao Yao. When Yao Yao brings Yugo along to see Xiangling, Guoba and Yugo end up playing together. I want to see that. That's that was that sounds so cute. It's wonderful. No matter how exhausting work is, just watching them shake and sway is enough to sweep all your cares away. But I can't be the only one being cured by Guoba and Yugo. I want everyone to bear witness to their cuteness for themselves. Well said. Now this is something important, but just how do you plan to do it? Unless these things on the table are. Bingo! I just made a paper theater fe featuring Goba and Yugo as the stars. Everything you see here at this stall is a prop for the paper theater. Paper theater sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Is it about the canvas behind you and watching the shadows on it? You guys may have heard of paper plays, a traditional leeway art form, but artfully using the pictures and lights, you can make the scenes on the screen come to life. I've loved paper plays since I was a kid and learned about them from Mr. Master Yingong. After I grew up, I became a painter, studying and traveling all over. While I was in Fontaine, I learned a few new drawing techniques and a thing or two about filming. I had quite a few sparks of inspiration too. So using paper plays as a basis, I tried creating a novel and a novel interactive game, and thus the paper theater you see before you was born. Paper theater and paper plays also have very different styles. Paper theater focuses on simple short stories that'll bring a smile to the audience. So that's why this year's first paper theater will be all about an especially amiable story. Guaba and Yugui looking for ingredients to cook up something delicious together. Guaba and Yugui together? That sounds really interesting. Fun and food in one place. Looks like you two are totally on board. Your excitement is inspiring. There's no time to lose. Please just relax and get ready to enjoy this paper theater performance. Am I gonna build Gaming? Yeah. I do want to build him. Press, uh, press the relevant buttons or use the movement keys to consume movement points and guide Goba and Yugo. Hold the, hold the button to move continuously. The challenge will be deemed a success once all characters have reached the ingredients position. Each move of the starting point... Uh, each move of the starting point card or box within the stage will be recorded. Use the recall function to restore the stage layout to its previous recorded state. It can be used three times. Okay. Woot? Did she, just, did she just say woot? I have not seen that in so long. Oh my god. Why did that just like flash me back to 20, to the early 2010s? Jesus. Uh. Shadows on a rock and the shadow casted by insurmountable tower in a dream no less. Leaps of logic everywhere. Okay, let's see. Look at Goba in the cart. Goba in the cart! When Goba or Yuga leave the starting point, the areas they pass through will be marked. Marked areas will be deemed inaccessible. Returning along the marked path will restore moves consumed. Okay. Okay. Bruh. Bruh. Let me see. Oh wait, no. Oh no, this is fine. There we go. Hmm. 
Alright, what if... No. Pull this back. Bruh. Not enough moves. Fuck me. What if you have to move this? Oops, my bad. You move that. Because that, has, that, has, that definitely has something to do with this. Ah, no, I'm so close, man. Shit. Bruh. Um, I think that... Oh, that's fine. There we go. Brother, why are you struggling? I'm not. I promise. Press the portraits or use the number keys to switch the character you are controlling. Okay. Nice. Oh, you can't move. Okay, there we go. We're good. Oh, boy. I would assume you have to do this. Yeah, there you go. And then... And yeah, this is fine. No, not enough! Wait, I can just do this. There we go. You had trouble on a level. It took you a good five to ten minutes to figure it out. See, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Goba is. I'm not, not Goba. Igwe is. Stuck. Uh, no. What if, actually? Ah, but no. Ah, shit. Wait, roll this back. Roll this back. I just. Ooh. Ah. There we go. I messed up. There we go. We got it. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. Goba, you guys are the same are at the starting point cart. The cart can be pushed by another character. Aw. Wait. <laughs> could push you, Gwe. Push. That's so cute. I'm cute. Push. Okay, so. Wait, who has the. Okay, Yugo has the farthest. 
walk in distance. Um, actually, reverse all this. Hmm. Ah, shit. <laughs> well, now I can't move it at all. Sure, Yue makes it. No, Yue doesn't make it. Uh. Alright, this is fine. There we go. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. So, how long did it take you on average to, like, beat these? Let's see. Uh, what if. Grab this first. Ah, you can't go all the way around. I mean, yeah, actually, this should be fine, right? No, you're right there, Gobwa. Ah, damn it. There we go. All right, we're, we're doing it, we're doing it. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, that red one's gonna be something else. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't need to do that first. First, you need to do this. And then use Goba to push this, I feel. And then use Yugwe to push this. No! Um, actually, use Goba to push you. There we go. Okay, now... Well, we're gonna have to push each other all the way over there. I think Golba can make it if I do... Oh, shit. And one more time. Wait. Am I dumb? I'm dumb. Push that over there, I think. Yeah, we're getting it, we're getting it. And I think we kind of have to push. Mm. Ah, I can't make it. Yeah, okay, I know what I need to do. Use Yugwe. Push Gobo over here. There we go. I think I'm getting it. There we go. I'll oh, wait. Mmm. No. Oh, I know. I did. Yeah, I got it. Never mind. I'm good. There we go. 
W. I did it! Nice! That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad at all. Damn, am I just dumb? <laughs> no. I'm just a big brain. I'm just smart like that. Eight treasure duck. This one made you hate co-op? Oh, this is a co-op one? Oh, boy. Happy Lantern Ride might do it and do that. <laughs> Say, you two wouldn't happen to be the big shots who came looking for Gaming, would you? We came... We saw you before. You were hanging out with Gaming, right? Totally. Hot diggity. You remember me. My luck's on fire. I heard you were... I heard you two are the best of the best. And there's nothing... And there, and there ain't nothing you can't do. I pop on over to Chihuahua Rock to buy groceries every day, and even though it's so it's so close by, I always hear people singing your praises along the way. Well, uh, Paimon's the best at eating now. Hey, Paimon's good at stuff besides eating too. Like what? Selling? <laughs> B creating businesses? Wait, I don't think for a moment. What else is she good at? <laughs> she can't even think herself. I've got it. Can ordinary people float? You're so white, light, and fluffy, like a pigeon adeptus. Flying alone is amazing. I mean, it should be super easy to carry stuff and makes work a, a cinch. You should you should help your friend more. Uh, you're the pigeon adeptus, Paimon? Let's just ignore when it, whether it's even possible for a pigeon to turn into an adeptus for now. Paimon just wants to point out that she's always been helping the traveler. For example... If the Traveler falls from a really high place, Paimon will grab onto him and make sure the fall isn't too painful. Wait, is Paimon actually that strong that she could carry his weight? Huh. Even though Paimon's not strong enough to actually do much lifting, if, Paimon's really, if Paimon really was a Pigeon Adeptus, she'd give the Traveler a boost while he's using the Wind Glider and help him fly higher and farther. Bruh. You two gotta practice more. Just like when I practice Wushu, Wushu with Gaming. <clears throat> the more you practice, the better you'll work together. Rapport isn't, ain't easy to build. Just so happens I've created a fresh new game, hot off the press. It's called Just Wushu Dance. Wanna have a go? Not only can you work on your team, but you can also learn about Wushu Dance. Just Wushu Dance? You wouldn't have to be talking about that big old doll next to you, right? Bingo. Authentic Wusho dance is downright devilish to learn. Even if you got a pro showing you the ropes, you won't be able to, to stick with it unless you love it and have got the perseverance to match. So, I changed the rules for one style of Wusho dance, switched out some props, and boom, this game was born. And it's also Lenten right now, yeah? Perfect for helping everyone enjoy themselves and work up an appetite or work off the extra calories. Just put on your dancing shoes, well, the dancing outfit, and see who can grab the most tea. The most tea breaks. You can dance and bump all over the shop. It's a hoot and a half. Sounds fun, but Pama doesn't think she's strong enough to wear a big outfit and play with other people. But the Traveler's really good at games like this. Pama wanna watch and learn from the sidelines first. Bring it. Huh? Prison Adeptus, will you not personally participate? Pity. It's not a problem. The Traveler and Pama will be traveling together for a long time to come. We'll have plenty of chances to level up our teamwork. Also, who's to say Paimon won't learn a bunch of won't learn a bunch of working won't learn a won't learn a bunch about working with the traveler just from watching? You two are close. I'm starting to get a bit jelly. Please right this way. And joyful beasts in their in their awe species. Uh, you must complete stage objectives within the time limit and score the highest amount of points possible. Press to use your skill and don a special Wushou dance puppet costume to enter bumper Wushou mode and knock aside other participants that you come into contact. Oh, so this is like bumper cars? Oh boy. Joyful Beast and their species has a total of three stages for players to choose from. Different stages and game mode rules can be viewed from under gameplay details. 
has two gameplay modes. You can invite multiple teammates to play together or match with other players. Four participants are required to start Joyful Beast in their all species. Oh boy. Oh boy. Collect as many lucky T bricks as possible within the time frame. Oh boy. Time to play bumper cars. You don't like the way they're making events with forcing co-op instead of optional right now? I think it's alright, I mean... It's not like you- it's not like you have to communicate with anybody. I think the only problem would be is if like, you're- you're not able to connect properly to... Like if you have bad ping or something. Wee. Oh, so it's on a, it's on a kind of a long cooldown. Boink. <laughs> uh oh. Ow, damn. Ow. Or someone's ahead of it. Someone has a hundred. 111! Wait, I gotta get these. Ow! Dip! You... You mother... Boink! See ya. Ow! What am I getting hit by? <laughs> Uh-oh. Boink! <laughs> Bye, Xiao. Ow, oh my god, I, get, I, I lose, I get minus 10 each time I get hit, I didn't even notice that. Bruh. I gotta be on the defense. Uh, let me grab these ones. Ugh. Ow, damn. That dude got- that dude got 230-something. I got knocked back nine times, bruh. Holy. This one was kind of fun with the lag, because you get bumped from out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I like getting bumped into- by absolutely nothing. It's kind of funny. How many points do you need to get all the rewards? I know that's how they usually do it. You need to get a certain amount of points. Complete race at the top for the first time. Complete pluck till okay. Oh, you need to get six thousand. All right. I'm getting bullied. I'm fine. Oh, is this like... Oh. Wait, let me see this, see this again. Oh, I'll figure it out. Players rejected. Okay, cool. 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 Someone rejected like three times in a row, bruh. Um, I didn't really get to read how this one works, so I guess we'll see. Stay on the platform as long as possible and click Fortune T Bricks to score higher. Avoid obstacles on the field, okay. What's like King of the Hill? Can we bump each other off though?
Why is everyone ether now? <laughs> Oh, I didn't mi I missed. Oh my god. Oh, oh lord. Come here. Boink. Ow. Minus 10 for that. <laughs> this one's kind of fun. I like this game mode. Wait, hold on. Boink. I don't step on the thing. Boink. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she went flying. Um, Come here. Oh, this person's passing me up. Yeah, I'm trolling. I'm actually trolling. Mine. Ow. What did I get hit by? Wait, what? What I hit? I got hit by absolutely nothing. No. No. I was right there. Ah. Uh. That one was a fun one. I like that one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> now let's try the next one. To pluck good fortune, stay in the safe zone for as long as possible and avoid the super spicy walk hay for to maintain your mildness and collect prosperous tea bricks to score higher. Participants start with mildness. When the challenge starts, participants will be affected by super spicy spirit and continuously lose mildness. When the challenge ends, the more mildness you still have, the higher your score will be. Okay. Okay. Super spicy walk hay will, will explode across the challenge arena at intervals. You will receive a warning before the super spicy walk hay appears. Okay. HP drain? Yeah. Also, I'm assuming we could still bump each other. This one's going to be crazy. Everyone's using tall characters, meanwhile, I'm over here being short. Bruh. Oh, you really can bump them out. That is crazy. Uh. Oh. Uh. No, you mu- What? Oh my god, I got bumped out. Are you serious, man? Ow. Man, if you don't- Get out of here. Do not. An oversight on my 
<laughs> and oversight. Do not. Do not. Ha! <laughs> not this time. Safe zone is shrinking. It's shrinking. It's shrinking. Boink. Oh, what? It's... <laughs> My cloud retainer. Uh oh. Ow! Oh, did it go? I don't even know if it went off. Ah, damn. I am not bad 13 times! God damn. I don't really understand you seem to be getting the same amount of points, but yeah, over a hundred behind. I don't know. I think it also, uh, I think I also have to just collect more of the, what was it called? More of the, um, the coins. Let's do a random one. <laughs> Bruh. Good things may come rolling in. Your highest was 388 in the Flora's Lava one? Really? I'm gonna try and get 300. I think I could do it in this one, but... Uh, Sorry, Layla. Boink. Sorry, Navia. Oh, shoot. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> the poor Layla, she got bonked twice. I am the number one now. I am the leader now. Ow. No! Wait, I'm gonna lose. Come here. Come here, Kubi. Come here. Ugh. Come here. No! Aw. I collect the most large tea breaks. God damn. I was popping off at the end there. <sighs> Spoke too soon? Yeah.
Okay. How many? How much more do I need? Oh yeah. Probably like three more rounds, I think. Hmm. Probably like two more. Win next round, trust, trust. Oh my god, D here. There's a D here user in here. Base D here user? What if I just pull out Aloy just to flex on everyone? Back up. <laughs> no time to lose. No time to lose. Yowzes. <laughs> oh my god. Chow just got set so far. Oh my god. Y'all saw how far Chow went? Ow, god damn it. I hit twice. Oh my god. Literally sent flying. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh my god, Tia. <laughs> I love it when everyone just sends each other flying. It's so funny. Boink. Um. Ooh. I won! I won! Yay! W. I guess I need to do one more, I think. W. Let me check if I need to do one more. I do. Ah, uh, one more. One more round. No, I'm gonna pull out. Oh, is it glitch? Oh, never mind. I'm pulling out Aloy just to flex. Just to flex on these youngins. Any Aloy havers? Rito kun. All battle havers with this signature weapon. All right, now that's one I can't flex, sadly. I 
I still actually cannot believe that Aloy is in this game, man. Rito Kun, wake up! Uh. What? I still got bumped! I'm so far away! It's <laughs> okay. I need a speed boost. See ya. Get hit. Hit from what? Uh oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Yes. Yes. 100 IQ play. 100 IQ play. <laughs> I hit all of them right at the last few seconds. W. Funny that I say 100 IQ when that's like average IQ. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. All right, we did it. What a wonderful sound. What a wonderful sound to hear. Uh, a night bill? Oh, wait. I'm in co-op mode. Okay, now last one. Very last one now. <laughs> Esteemed guest, I, the apprentice storyteller, Jean Shu, must humbly request you seize your steps for a moment. Perhaps you have heard a tale that goes something like this. In the beautiful night of Lantern Rite, Flaming lights once danced across the sky like glowing brushes, like a majestic scroll. Uh, Paimon didn't quite catch that. Flaming lights? Painting in the sky? That's not something ordinary people can do. Even if you had some kind of airship, there's no kind of mysterious paint that can just hang in the air like that. Sounds like a seriously exaggerated analogy. <laughs> okay, Paimon. Uh, could you be talking about fireworks? Anyway, the protagonists of this tale are none other than you two, the renowned traveler whose fame has spread throughout the land, and his, and his companion Paimon. Huh? Why is it suddenly about us? Perhaps you have already forgotten, but this time last year you accepted a commission from the adventurer Tianjian and participated in a special speedrun challenge. That speedrun challenge was illuminated by the glow of fireworks, a sight most majestic, a, splend a splendorous scene not off scene. I think we, I do remember that. Uh, now that you mention it, Paimon kind of remembers that we helped some promoter from the Adventurers Guild. It was nothing really. She said we. She said she wanted to use the event to recruit new members. No idea if it actually worked though. Uh, I guess something like that might have happened. At that at the time, I was drowning my sorrows in liquor. Oh my god, and near Wangshu Inn. And as I looked up, I saw your silhouettes framed by the fireworks. 
In a moment, the sadness from flunking the exam, my confusion about the path that lay before me, it was all dispelled in a flash by your radiant figures blazing bright, and bright with vitality. So I pulled myself together and continued my research into folk tales, and thus came to Chen Yu Vale, drinking, my, drinking deep of my favorite subject. I must thank you for the encouragement you gave me. <laughs> And it is not just me. Many were moved by your splendid silhouettes, joining the Adventurers Guild and finding new direction in life. Uh, Paimon never imagined anything like that. We didn't even notice anyone watching at the time. and didn't even think, uh, think us joining in a little race could inspire other people. When you put it like that, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Congratulations on getting it together. To run into you today is truly my good fortune. There is one thing I would like to ask, in addition to expressing my sincerest gratitude. Please pass your radiant glory onward and continue to inspire even more people. Though, we aren't nearly as great as you say. You've got a good idea going. If we if we can cheer up more people, we're in. Though, now that you mention it, just what should we do? In accordance with usual practices, I use Chan Chan's Racing Challenge as a reference and teamed up with other adventurers inspired by you. We've planned a brand new activity, Iridescent Cloud Striding. There are many wondrous things here in Chen Yu Vale, including a strange carp whose power allows you to travel most swiftly. All you need to do is vault over valleys and mounts to the mountaintops with your nimbleness, showing your vibrant dynamism, or dynamism to all and sundry, just as before. We're in. Of course, to be on the more I prepared as a token of appreciation, we've prepared a variety of other rewards to express our gratitude, like Primo Gems! Such paltry gestures pale with the hope that you have gifted to so many and the excitement your past deeds inspire. But that is not all. In the future, we will find more chances to repay you. You're too kind. We'll keep on journeying. We'll keep on journeying and helping out those in need along the way, even without any rewards. After hearing you, we're even more inspired to keep adventuring. Let's give this iridescent cloud strafing a try. Writing. Okay. And it's in an area I haven't unlocked yet. Nice. Well. Well. I guess I'll be seeing it for the first time. Do I still got it in me? I still got it. I still got it. I still got it like that. Although, wait, let me... Why was the sensitivity so high? Uh... Where is the... Where is the aiming mode sensitivity? What the heck? All over here. You know what? Let's make this easier. What that bird do to me? Nothing. Hey, I used to kill birds like that in the morning, back in the day. Y'all don't know. Some of y'all might not know, but back in the day, they called me the bird hunter. I used to hunt cranes like that every day just to farm for sweet madams. God, it would be really nice to have San Yun right now, right? During Erdos Cloud Striding Challenges, you must reach your destination while collecting as many Jade Lotus Lanterns on the way to obtain a high score as possible. Ominous Lanterns will be present during the challenge. You will have points deducted if you pick them up, okay? If you come into contact with firework lanterns, they will explode, and you will trigger the pickup effects of all objects in the explosion radius. There will be cunning plans to be picked up near the Golden Carp's Leap Pearls. These can help you complete the challenge. 
I'm picking up Cunning Plan Cash Advance. Uh, Jade Lotus Lanterns will appear before you for a limited time. Okay. You think I've got a sharp tongue? Hush, Scaramouche. You were there for the foul days? Yeah. Back in those days. Uh, it's like this, right? Um, uh, uh, why did it? So wait, if I touch this, right? Oh no, that was a bad one. God damn it. And now it's raining. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Let me restart this. Let me restart this. <laughs> let me, let me try that again. Is D Luke still in S tier? What nowadays? No, D Luke is way below S tier, sadly. But I think he's still pretty fun with uh, certain characters, like, uh, like a par God damn it! Like apparently, uh, Xian Yun makes him pretty fun to play. Perfect. <laughs> ah, almost missed that. Uh... Bruh. Nice. Gold. Oh my god, I have to travel all over here now. Oh, back and forth. Is Deluxe Plunge high? Yeah. Highest in the game, yeah. D Luke just casually having the highest plunge damage. Who knew, like three years later, three or four years later, he would be uh he would be fun to use again because of Cloud Retainer. Maybe you should get Shen Yun and rerun? Yeah. I feel like that's what everyone's gonna do. As soon as people realize that like She's really good for exploration, and like maybe later on there's gonna be a new plunge damage user. People might get her. <laughs> Do you look meta again? Well, it's a good thing I have him. Although I don't have Wolf's Gravestone. After playing for for almost three, almost four years. I still don't have Wolf's Gravestone, huh? I gotta climb up all the way over here. Oh my god. I love si I, I love getting stuck on ledges. Huh. Too slow. The wind rises. Your first five stars were Diluke and Wolf's Gravestone on standard? Okay, now that's just insane luck, bruh. Tranquil Lanterns. Let me grab this real quick. It's just grab that on the way. <laughs> oh, 
perfect. All right, okay, this one, oh my god, that is so far. Holy shit. Well, let me just, <laughs> let me just continue bringing out my exploration team. Squall of Fury. Huh. We're going exploring. Who is more worthy, Xiao or Miko? Um, I mean, I do hear Xiao is a pretty good DPS. However, I think he's still a little, he still has a little more of a niche playstyle. Meanwhile, Yai Miko, she's probably more adaptable to a lot more playstyles in Genshin. Squall and Fury. Especially with Hyper Bloom in the game, like Yai Miko might be the better choice. Might be the better choice in terms of like meta. Unless you have Xian Yun, then maybe having uh, then maybe having Miko would not be that bad. I mean, then maybe having Xiao would not be that bad. Sorry. When rises. You can use Fisher for Denjo teams? Yeah. Honestly, personally, I I feel like I would be compelled to wish for Xiao, but that's only that's only because I like his design a lot. Not not saying that I don't like Miko's design, but I think he looks really cool. for Miko later. Good luck. Good luck. I wish you the best. As I pick up cunning plan, power title, and amusement, special moving fire gliders will appear before you, and during the next golden carp's leap, you will score double points. Perfect. I was at 5,000. Nice. Are there any future characters I plan to pull for? Chlorind. And maybe Arlecano, depending on how she is. Okay, there are three characters right now that I'm thinking about. Chlorind, for one, that's like the number one priority right now. Chlorind, maybe Arlecano, and Xian Yun on her rerun. They gonna buy and gone you skin? I wish I could, but the free to play status holds me back. Quit following me.
No one would notice? Uh, I think people would definitely notice. I think everyone would notice, actually. Some random chatter would be like, Hmm, could you- could I check out your, uh... What? Eh? Oh. Okay. Let me just restart this real quick. Some random chatter is gonna be like, Could I check out your Ganyu outfits real quick? And then I would no, have no choice but to disgrace my name. My honor, my pride. My reputation is ruined. I definitely got that Ganyu skin for free. Don't know what you're talking about. You're right. It just appeared on my account one day, you know? Did I miss that? No, I didn't. Nice. Ugh. Nice. And last one. All the way over here. Someone in chat donated it 100%, yeah. I could also ban them from the chat. <laughs> someone asked, someone asked, hey, uh, why do you, uh, why do you have those skins in your inventory? I thought you were free to play. Banned. Someone ban that guy. Get him out of here. Put him in timeout. Transport balloon. Oh, I missed that. Dang it. Dang, I'm fumbling on this one. Hold on. I'm smart for good. I'm not, I'm, just, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. I would never buy it. Maybe one day at the very end of the game. <gasps> Maybe one day when the game ends. I'll spend all my money to collect all the skins. And maybe C6 a character for once. That's if I'm still playing the game by then. And we're done. Yay! We did it! Nice. We did all of the mini games. Now, it's time to get my rewards. All right. So, um, I have pretty much everyone here. Uh, I don't think there's anyone that I really want a constellation for. I think I'm just gonna get a get the, get gaming. Hey, boss. The name's Gaming. I'm a guard from the communications office. So, all this needs shipping, right? Uh, yeah. No, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. Welcome, Gami. Then we can get the delivery scheduled. Welcome. And if you ever want to book a wushou dance, me and my crew are available in a heartbeat. The ship's <laughs> called the Mighty Mythical Beast. And I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Gami. 
And then Sing Cho's outfit. The hero's valor ripples through his robes. His garments steeped in the spirit of the bamboo groves. Very nice. And now for the primos. And the crown. Don't forget the crown. Let's check out Gaming real quick. Oh wait, isn't doesn't he also do like a leap? Wait, hold on. I want to see something real quick. I want to see. Is there time to sneak in some dim sum first? Hey, he does do a leap. Oh! Okay, he almost died. <laughs> He seems kind of good for traversing too. I'm not gonna lie. He kind of he kind of seems good for traversing as well. Like getting, like quickly going up certain places. He actually seems kind of good. Congratulations! All right. What's the best? Okay. Since we have, since we have two good exploration units added in this update. What is the best exploration team right now? Because usually I use Dihya, Sayu, Wanderer, and Rosaria. Dihya is for the daytime speed boost, and Rosaria is for the nighttime speed boost. And then Sayu is for, the, for her role. And Wanderer is for, you know, his E, his flying. But with Shan Yun in the game now... And her, her, like, double E, if you have her at C1, her double E is really, really good. And then there's also Yelin, which I haven't even tried yet. And then we also have Gaming as well. I feel like having Wanderer and Cloud Retainer in the same party is really good. Because you also get the Animal Resonance bonus. By having two Animal people in your party. So you could go even faster. Yelon, Wanderer, Kazuha, Ayaka would be the best you feel. Wanderer, Yelon, Sayu, Xian Yun. Hmm. Hip, hip. Hmm. Yelon, Wanderer, Kazuha, Ayaka. Lynette and Yelon are both really- Oh yeah, I also forgot about Lynette. Lynette also does have like a semi Yelon E. Look at all those levels, holy. Farina, if you're in Fontaine, walking on water, true. But I enjoy swimming act- I, I enjoy swimming in Fontaine. <laughs> Oh, non Fontaine? Okay, yeah, non Fontaine, yeah. I would use her. Lynette's E is running is running speed, so it's worse. Uh -huh. Stacking multiple lost prayers? Can't does that actually work? I wonder. I did forget about the lost prayers. Oh! Because you could also have Shan Yun with a lost prayer as well. You can have you can have Scaramouche in the party, you know, with his, you know, whatever. But then you can also put Lost Prayer on Cloud Retainer. It does work, the movement buff stack, really? So you can't you could all you could definitely have Wander and Shan Yun in the same party. Huh. Wait, man! Now I, I, I really should have wished for her. God damn it! Ah, uh, I, I really should have wished for her when she came around. Ah. Uh. All right, next rerun. Next rerun. I'm gonna after Chlorine. I'm saving for C1. 
for C1, San Yun. I'm saving for a C1. After Clarand, I'm saving for C1, San Yun. I I've decided. I cannot miss out on that. That is actually kind of a... That is... That's kind of a really good idea. That's a really good idea. A little late for that? I mean... Probably be a year plus until I can get her again, but... Congratulations! Controversial paint of a Kazu on Wanderer is better than Xian Yun. I don't use uh I don't use Kazuo much. I don't know. Want me to come along? I wonder. What if you could do this? Into the wind. It's probably... Kazuo is definitely better for, uh... Oh. I didn't mean to grab that. Kazuo's probably better for, uh... One with nature. Vertical movement. Can I go catch up on my sleep? Kazuo works on a lot of teams, but Xian Yun makes new teams. Sooner yeah. we're done, the better. Janu can't start her E midair. I really do wonder why they made her not able to start midair. Maybe that would have made her busted. That's why. That, would, that probably would have power crept Kazuo too hard in terms of exploration. So that's why they didn't give her that. And Residence and two lost prayers. Both are one. Man. That's going to be the end game. That's the true end game build. The true end game party is just having the best exploration team. <laughs> That's the that's the true end game right there. Screw Spiral Abyss. Screw combat. You got to see how fast and how far you could go with your exploration units. Really discussing meta for exploration. Yeah, it's a good. It's a big part of the game. So. Well, I'm glad I finished that. Now later on, I, I'm gonna do Triumph and Frenzy. Uh, I'll probably be like later on in the week. Then I have to do this event. And I also want to play Wuthering Waves. Well, I'm kind of I'm I'm very far behind on Wuthering Waves right now. Just mint pick. Yeah, it's actual mint picking activities. <laughs> 